Hello guys, Sue Jerry speaking. Welcome to LJP Spam React, episode two, three hundred twelve. Excuse me. I was gonna eat popcorn today because I was about to start taping anyway. But anyways, and today we're reacting to the Pain Game podcast, episode forty two. I'm gonna react to this in five, four, three, mm -hmm. okay, two, one, go. Okay, I don't have all day for this. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newest episode of the Pina Game Podcast, episode 42. And oh boy, folks, this is going to be one heck of an episode, I tell you what, because last week I was extremely busy. I had college to deal mm. with. I had graduation and all this other stuff. So mm. I was extremely busy last week. I tell you what, because mm. last week I was... Oh, feedback. Feedback. Mm. Oh my! Oh my! President to never sign a bill into law. He died before having the opportunity. If you didn't know that. Pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. But anyways, with that being the case, you got learned today. Um so we, to learn. Yeah, that's a learning. Uh we got plenty of different topics. Uh I myself have things related to uh movies and games and such like that. Of course, some things that I've been playing, uh some that I am looking forward to playing, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But with that being the case, um, I'm taking up time here with this, so uh, I think it's time we should get started. If uh, where the, I don't know where the heck Jerome went off to, though. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. Unless he was having an, um, a uh, connection so, so. Maybe a connection issue or something like that. Yeah, maybe yeah, a connection problem. Um, well, I do have some good news, Shane, I would like oh, to okay. start off with. Okay, you let's guys, start with some good news. I'm not balling for good news today. Let's, let's hear All it. All right, so political news, we got... I'm going to start off with that because... 
Covering what happened last week, Donald Trump is now the official Republican nominee. I guess Ted Cruz and John Kasich both drop out. Kasich won at 46 Kasich, and top line Ted Cruz are both out. And nah, Donald Trump ain't care. Continue. Also, some good news from yesterday. Bernie Sanders ended up winning Nebraska and West Virginia, and now he is leading in Oregon by a large margin. And oh, it's not yes. going to oh, yes. be oh, five dates in a row for Bernie Sanders. Oh, God. Make my dark heart of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, man, I, I, as you guys know, it's kind of funny because Lucas and I are in the opposite end of the spectrum here. But yet, Lucas is keeping me up to date with the Bernie news, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, because um, seriously, anybody on Hillary, because... Uh-uh, mm -hmm. no. Bad time. I haven't told you about this. No more. No more. Uh, we, we've already explained why we don't like her. Um, so that being the case, yes, absolutely. Uh, this is fantastic news. Um, some of the best news I've heard all week. Um, yeah, so I mean, uh, it, that's just great, though. I'm glad that he's uh, actually coming in with a comeback because uh, any day that's a defeat for Hillary is a good day for me. Mm -hmm, that's for damn. Still. Yeah, but Anywho, so, what were you saying? I know, I'm just saying, anywho, that's, that's excellent news, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, awesome. Alright, so now, we got a little bit of some sports stuff. There was a big NFL draft that happened, I was gonna ask Jerome for his input, but he is now, like, for some yeah, reason he's like, Yeah, he's like, uh... Alright, so now, one, huh? so now, we have, um, the NHL hockey news, we have two teams... Into the east, no, three teams maybe. Like, to make that three teams. So, the Eastern Conference, I mean, for the finals, we got yeah. Dallas Star, I mean, the St. Louis Blues will win tonight by a mm. score of five to nothing, which is absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. And then you also got the Pittsburgh Penguins, who won last night in overtime, and Tampa Bay Lightning. So, right now, I have three out, I think for my bracket, I had three, either two out of the three correct. Like, actually, no, I have one team that I picked correctly so far. I did pick the Panthers, but the Lightning being in is actually a good thing, too, because I'm actually going to go one of those games. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, excellent, then. Because I want to go. I just don't know when the dates are, because they don't really feel any of the dates. But yeah. right now, I'm just waiting for the other game to end. Third tomorrow night, which is the San Jose Sharks, which is Alex's favorite team, with the San Jose Sharks and the National Predators game seven tomorrow night, which will be a pretty good game. NFL news, there was a good NFL draft. There was a lot of good things happening. Really, like, uh, there is a little big list on NFL.com. There was a German football league player drafted, which is pretty awesome. Oh, so wait, a German, a German what now? German football player. He played in the German football league. Oh, okay. And mm -hmm. now he's playing in, what, American football? Yep. He's playing in the NFL now. Oh, His name is Moritz Boringer, and now he's they're going to let him use the, um, the German O, like the German O with the two dots over it on his jersey, which is actually oh, pretty interesting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're, uh, you know, they're actually going ahead and uh, mm. catering to that. So. Yeah, because it's good for the international audience, that's for damn sure. Right, of course, yeah. Anyway, Shay, do you have any news? Because that's some of the mm -hmm. sports news I wanted to cover real quick. Oh, I've got, uh, what was it? I've got a couple of things here. Hang on. Uh, let me just go through my 4,000 tabs here. Because um, <laughs> there was something I found that was very interesting. Um, let's see. If I can find it. Sorry. It's mm -hmm. taking me a while because I have, like I said, 5,000 tabs. I have a real problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. Sausage party. Oh, yeah. Someone asked. Um, uh -huh. Sausage party. What do you think about sausage party? Honestly, it's okay. But mm. I'm not really that excited. It was awesome big time for me, in my opinion. So good enough. Right? Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm not, I'm not really like gonna bother with it, honestly. That's that's just my honest opinion. I'm just, I, I just, I don't know. I don't. I'll see it online, but okay. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to find this again, but um. Because it was something pertaining to Dragon Ball Evolution. Does anybody remember oh that? Oh my god, shit? I remember that. Yes. Yes, oh my god. It was in my top ten. This, I, I'm trying to remember what list that was for. Yeah, but it was, um... My, the Putnam's Rift list. I'm trying to remember what it was for. Yeah, um... I'm, so, I'm sorry, hold on. It might have been disappointments, movies. Like, movies that are beyond disappointing. That might have been it. 
That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it, it was one of the... Um, okay, here it is. I found it. Okay, so recently, apparently, uh, the writer of Dragon Ball Evolution offers a sincere apology to fans. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, okay. Mm. Um, I'm going to read this uh, verbatim, right? And this is what he says, uh, and I quote... I knew it would, be event it would eventually come down to this one day. Dragon Ball Evolution marked a very painful creative point in my life. To have something with my name on it as the writer to be so globally reviled is gut-wrenching. To receive hate mail from all over the world is heartbreaking. I spent so many years trying to deflect the blame, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to the written word on the page that I take full responsibility for, uh, wh which was such a disappointment to so many fans. I did the best I could, but at the end of the day, I dropped the Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. I, that's that good to, it's good that he could... I mean, that's the thing. If you can't laugh at yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I went to the project chasing after a big payday, not as a fan of the franchise, but as a businessman taking on an assignment. I have learned that when you go into a creative endeavor without passion, you come out with suboptimal results, and sometimes flat-out garbage. So I'm mm -hmm. not blaming anyone for Dragon Ball but myself. As a fanboy of other series, I know what it's like to have something you love and, and anticipate to be so disappointing. To all the Dragon Ball fans out there, I sincerely apologize. I hope I can make it up to you by creating something really cool and entertaining for you all to like. That is also something that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. That's the only work I do now. Best, mm -hmm. Ben. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. So he said, "Work is best, Ben," or like. No, no, uh, best. Like you know, it's, it's sincerely, uh, yours truly. It just says best, Ben. Oh, okay. that's how okay. he his, his ending signature. Mm -hmm. So, yep. So, yeah. How about that? He actually owned up to it, which is a good thing because that's um that is a very um important thing to do. What happens when you uh when you Broke mess up? When you mess up mm -hmm. really bad like that. That. I think it goes uh, without saying, it was a massive bomb. Oh my god, it's mm -hmm. one of my worst movies I've ever seen in all time. Mm -hmm. It was a massive bomb. But the thing is, is that uh, because of that, uh, everyone's, uh, pretty much everyone hated it. And it's mm -hmm. good to see for someone to own up to it and be like, okay, so that wasn't my best work, in fact, it might have been my absolute worst, mm -hmm. but that's behind me, I'm ready to go ahead and own up to it like a man and do something different. Absolutely. That's, that's how I'm looking at it. It's, it's great. That's a great thing, honestly. Mm hmm It absolutely is, because seriously, oh, like, that movie... Mm, that, 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 right. that, that movie gave me flaccid noodle syndrome. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, God. Yeah, so... Oh, but, I do have another big news thing I want to <laughs> talk about real quick, though. Oh, sure. Try. Oh, you, do you guys know, yesterday afternoon, Pokemon, like the official Pokemon from Nintendo, released... Sun and Moon, like the official details on Sun and Moon, yeah. because yeah. starters, oh my God. Um, box art, the region, the box art, the legendaries. Oh, yeah. don't know that ain't yet, but right now, from what I know, the legendary Pokemon for the Sun game is a lion, a, a fire lion, and mm -hmm. for the Moon game, which I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna get the Moon game, is a bat, which yeah, looks yeah. pretty uh -huh. awesome. The region is called Alola. Which is actually a um, sounds like it sounds like it's from Hawaii then kind of. yeah it's based from Hawaii based off Hawaii oh interesting very nice that, I like that so idea. yeah which makes sense because um I mean sun and moon the um the concepts of uh, day and night play a big part in the culture of um of Hawaii of all the Hawaiians and such like the sun and the moon the symbol for it is very uh. It's very prominent within their culture, so it makes sense to go ahead and make it based off of Hawaii. Still. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. Yeah. Dude, it is going to be amazing. I, ha I saw some of the gameplay. It looks awesome. The starter Pokemon, there is a couple starter Pokemon. There is a grass owl, which looks really cool. Still. And, like fire kitten called Litten, who I think is going to be the first dark and fire type, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, I think I you're really right. hope it. I really hope it is. And then there is a sea, li sea lion. A water sea lion type, which actually yeah. is pretty cool too. I like I like all three of them. If I had to pick one that I'm gonna probably pick, it's probably the owl. Still, I'm gonna probably pick the owl. cat. I'm in, um, what was it? I'm incredibly biased towards uh cats. Oh, no, cats, cats, yeah. cats. But um, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, the thing is though, everyone seems to keep going after the seal. Everybody shits on the seal. Uh, oh my mm -hmm. god, everybody is like everybody's hate on the sea lion. It's like, what's with the hate for the sea lion? He's adorable. 
Yeah, it's pretty adorable, man. Who it was, what yeah. It's gonna look like, honestly. Oh, it's gonna, be, it's gonna look cool. Like, if I had to pick a second, it's probably because I'm always a big water type guy myself. Mm -hmm. And I, I skipped the past two generations because honestly, like, I that's why I had like a stagnant thing. Where I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna wait on Pokemon for a while. I'm gonna actually right. get back into it with Sun, with Moon because Moon's gonna be my game because the bat looks incredible. Oh boy, oh, yeah, for sure. So yeah, I, Pokemon I just, Sun and Moon. Agree. Sun mm -hmm. and Moon is coming out November 18, 2016, on the 3DS, which is amazing. I am so excited for Sun and Moon. I just sure. up anticipated games of the year along with this another little little tip that just came out like video game footage and music came out for Kirby Planet Robobox the new the new Kirby game for the 3DS and everybody for what I've been hearing the reviews they're saying it's an amazing one of the best Kirby games in the entire series still because the concept of the game is Kirby is able to, to equip himself with mecha mech suits and the mech suits can copy abilities, which is amazing. I'm so, so freaking happy that they yeah, made this sure. thing. And the music, oh my god, don't even get me started on the music. The music is amazing. The modes are awesome. It is pretty much like the sequel to Triple Deluxe. And, oh my god, it looks so good so far. I've seen a lot of the gameplay, the final boss and everything. I know, like, unfortunately, I did spoil myself a little bit. But I just uh, wanted to say, because of how it looked, like, and how the music sounded and everything, oh my god, it's amazing. Just yeah. go check that out, game guys. That comes out. In why? My question is, why is it released in Japan two months before the United States? Back uh, because well, well, that's because it's that's where it came from, man. I know where it came from, but two months. They're releasing Pokemon in both regions at the same time. Like, how can you not do that for Kirby? That's that's I don't understand that. And they did the same thing with Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, which I got also. Like, they also did that as well. Like, like they released it a month and a half before the U.S. release. Yeah, like mm -hmm. in, in Japan, Australia, United Kingdom, and Europe, like before. Right, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, then again, I mean, one of the things is, is that you got to look at Pokemon in a global scale. Like, it is incredibly popular. You know? It is. I so, totally agree. The Jap oh, yeah, speaking of global, Japanese commercial for this game is amazing. It's about a kid who... He moves into a new place in moves to Hawaii. He feels like an outcast until he starts talking about Pokemon with people. And it shows the connection between Pokemon and everybody in the world. Like, everybody has the same connection. Still. And I love the commercial. It's really good. I just can't wait for the game, man. It's just... It's looking to be an absolute game to get me back into the series. Oh, for sure. Um, I've actually been playing... Uh, uh, what was it? The Alpha Sapphire recently. That's my friend oh, and our mentor really got me into it and i started playing it and oh my god so much fun but Dude, i heard it's great oh it's fun man i love it i i forgot how fun pokemon could be i really it's it's like getting back to my inner child again like going back to my childhood so great fucking love it but anyways <coughs> sorry this is back on the call yep mm. This is what happens when you're on support last night from like 12 to 3 a.m and you're dealing with these fucking people who you can barely understand, and you get your computer working, and then the power goes out, and when, you, when your power goes out, while your computer is on and it wasn't shut down properly, it fucks it up. Yeah. Am yeah. I correct? Am I correct? Mm -hmm. You are indeed correct. Mm -hmm. There you go. And when I was losing my fucking mind over an individual who says some shit to where I told Jerry... And Gary even said that's not funny. In the, that's not funny at all. Agree. Right, yeah. He but, thought it, he was just like wow. And a couple other people asked me what happened, and I told them, and they're like, that wasn't even funny. I don't blame you for getting pissed. Agree. That's exactly what they told me. They're like, dude, I don't blame you at all. Still. Well. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't care about the fucking show, nor the nor the fans with the people. Okay. Whatever you still. say. So. Where did you guys left off? Because I've been dealing with computer troubles for so uh, long. We were just talking about. Let me get back. What's what's that? And I want to get back on track back here. So. Of course. Well, let me go ahead and put you back on the rails here. We just got done talking about. Um, I discussed the topic of um, the Dragon Dragon Ball Evolution writer offering a sincere, uh, sincere apology to fans. Oh shit! Yeah, he that actually. Oh my god. That's got some of the worst acting I have ever seen. 
<laughs> oh my. That's literally how he was in the movie. Oh, I, I know, I know. Oh. oh my god, dude. This is fucking ridiculous. But you know, yeah, he offered a sincere apology. The shortened version of it was that um, he understood that um, he was going into it as a businessman, not as an individual who was passionate about the series. Therefore, that's why it sucked so bad. Mm. So that's why. That's what's going on with that and he's offers sincere uh sincere apology and hopes to win everybody back by doing something really cool that he's passionate about next so still <laughs> i heard that you did. <laughs> oh yeah, my i think my sips so I'm, I'm i fucking pretty... needed i do i needed that after what happened before the show air because i oh my god I, I was i i was ready to kill somebody yeah we were, oh we were, my uh, it was funny because when uh, we, we were just talking about how bad Dragon Ball was, and I said, yeah, it gave me flaccid noodle syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> it made your battle cry. It made your teacher battle cry. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, and then we were talking about Jerome also. We were talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon. John Hillary losing more and more, losing more and more. She lost two last night, both seats last night. Good. Good. Fuck that grilled cheese sandwich, nasty-ass bitch, man. Um, Makes no sense, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, oh, by the way, speaking of Hillary Clinton, oh, boy, do we have a topic about her? Mm-mm. Wait. Mm-mm. This re- okay, you know what? I want to just read this over real quick. That's if my computer won't be a dildo to me, and it'll load up properly. Actually, it does. Wonderful. Okay. A Navy SEAL heard this, because she can't stand the bitch either. Clear uh-uh. all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> And, yeah, exactly. Wrong timing and a bad joke, indeed. He confronted Hillary Clinton and said to her, word for word, you are an ignorant liar. God. Mm-hmm. I agree. Wow, this was awesome. This... In my 12-year military career, I have never heard an excuse like that from my leadership. Uh, Russell told reporters, it's impossible to even imagine that that happened. So, yeah, Hillary, first of all, you're pissing off the Navy SEALs, and you're pissing off hard-working men in the coal industry. Even- Makes no sense, but whatever. Oh, oh, Hillary said, oh, I never said that, but she said it in front of a huge crowd, and it was all on air. Bravo, bravo, Hillary, keep digging yourself a fucking, you know, better yet, take your fucking bulldog jowls, Eat that bone that's right next to you and go back to your doghouse. Pathetic bitch. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. Bad idea. Bad idea. Pretty much. And she's going to keep losing that her telling um, Shane. I hope that. she does. I hope she goes to fucking... I hope she goes to fucking jail. I really hope she does too because... Because we are telling you, Bernie has now won three states in a row. He's leading yes. over again. Oh, my He's leading against Trump. Oh, we do... Were you twisting Worse. your nipples, Shane? Oh, you're fucking right, I was. Oh, yeah. God. But yeah, um, he, she, Hillary just decided to quit Oregon all completely because she knows she's going to lose that state and Washington. So the two Pacific Northwest mm-hmm. states. Yes. She's going to be quitting Kentucky. Like, she's yeah. not going to be up She's going to focus her efforts in California, New Jersey, and some of the other states, and then some of the other provinces. Because I think oh, if Bernie gets enough mm-hmm. votes, if he, if he makes it official, there will be a contested convention July 25th, no, July 26th and 28th, where they'll recount vote. They'll have a committee vote again. So the primary, they'll vote on a candidate. So they'll do a re-vote on everything. Like, they'll do it, like, the primaries won't matter as much. So they'll have some input with some of the people. They'll be in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for that if that comes down. It happens. (laughs) (laughs) What are you going about over there? <laughs> what are fucking you Fucking Gary! Fucking Gary! What? <laughs> what the? What did you Oh, God. <laughs> That's like that beautiful. I was like, oh, boy. I can understand why he's fucking sticking. Wait, is that a... Wait, is that a... Um, oh, what's his name? He plays Borat, uh, Bruno, and... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, is that oh, Ali G? Is that Ali G? <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay, that's freaking. <laughs> oh 
Oh, Gary, I needed that, man. Oh, oh man. dear, Gary. Oh, yeah, dear. Gary. I was gone. I was gone earlier because I saw a particular film. And let's just say I'll save my thoughts until you get uh, worked up to that topic because I got a lot to say about that. Uh, so, well, uh, oh, that's hilarious. if you guys don't have any other like pressing topics at the moment, I could go ahead and discuss my. Uh, uh, oh, we, mean, one. we mean what? Pre- we, mean, we mean pressing topics like news or some such, oh, stuff something, like that. Something that you just want to like that you need to go ahead and talk about now. Oh, I gotta talk. I gotta talk about this. Okay. okay. I talked to you about this. Sh- I think no. I talked to Gary and Shane about this, and you're just like, what? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> oh my. So. Okay. Here we go. Now I originally heard this from the Hodge twins. If you don't know who the Hodge twins are, they're two uh, twin bodybuilders who have their own channel on, you know, not only bodybuilding but mm-hmm. other current events and topics. These guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's like, hey, what's up, man? You gonna bury your balls deeper than sugar walls? Yeah. They, oh, keep God. The, keep it, Kevin Hodge, dude. Check them out. They are gold. They are fucking awesome. I love these guys. They're so funny. And they're really, they're, they have so much common sense, too. And I love their Still. food challenges and shit. Oh, they're great. Check them out, dude. They're great. So I heard him talk about this. And I'm just like, what? Here's the title. A woman... A woman who was born without a vagina can finally enjoy sex. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a 27-year-old Greek woman. Okay, this is from AskMan.com. A 27-year-old Greek woman discovered as a teenager that she was born with, now bear, uh, bear with me here because it's hard to pronounce, uh, Rokitansky syndrome, R-O-K-I-T-A-N-S-K-Y syndrome. A condition that affects one in 5,000 women. That means she doesn't have a womb, a cervix, or upper vagina and can't have sex. Oh, my. Isn't that... And you know what? I was like, I wonder what this woman looks like. She's a, she's an adorable... She's an adorable young lady. She really is. I was like, oh, my goodness. So, here's the thing. She, hey, man, I had to... Hey, you had to... No, I am. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't. So, and she did, she went through a revolutionary procedure to surgically give her a new vagina, uh, but the new vagina the doctors made was very narrow and small, and it at first caused her a lot of pain while having sex. Now she's enjoying it, but I had to bring that up because I'm just like, that's something that you don't fucking hear every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, is, that is definitely not normal, uh, everyday news. Agreed. So, still... Interesting though. You know, and, you know, and, you know, it, it was first. It, it, I'll be honest. With you, it was very sad for her at first because, you know, for the first few years, you know, I think it was after her surgery. She, you know, she thought it. She, she thought she thought of herself as worthless and no. and you know no. down in the thumbs and everything. Yeah, that's understandable. But, right. Yeah, not not wor- You know, not worthy of you know not worthy of being loved or intimate with one another. I was just like, oh, that sucks. But now, it, you know, it, it, she was finally depressed. Depression, anxiety, mm-hmm. panic attacks, and all that. Other oh stuff. yeah, yeah. Uh, and she says she's mostly feeling better. She's very optimistic. Hey man, good for her, man. If yeah, I had good, a share, good, yeah, good for Still. her. Still. Oh, she's like, dude, she's like a geek, uh, a Greek geek, a Greek. Excuse me. Yeah, write that one down too. God damn it, a Greek <laughs> goddess. She is. She's a. She's a really adorable young lady, and she wants to support everyone who has the disease. Because this one in five thousand. Yeah, that's pretty rare, man. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know who, who, I don't know what, what, I don't know what Oz is worse. The odds of getting rock and, uh, rock and, uh, R, I call it, I want to call it rock syndrome, R, okay, okay, just for short, rock syndrome or me getting married. I, I okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But yeah, kudos for her, man. Good, yeah, man. Absolutely. Kudos for those fucking doctors, too, man. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. That is pretty cool, absolutely. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I, I had to share that, because that, that, that blew my fucking mind. Yeah, that's great. That's some great news. Oh, my. Um, anybody else got anything, or? Uh, I, okay, I'm, I'm looking, because like I said, I have a lot. Oh, I gotta talk about this. I do okay. have to talk about this. Okay. Oh, man, I'm just rubbing, man, just look, reading this right now makes me want to rub my mushroom tip. 
right. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, this is from Daniel. Daniel Rusman, a.k.a. Danny Boy. Danny Boy. Love Danny Boy. He's oh, awesome. boy. Yeah, he found me through Alex uh, when we were doing the wrestling shit. And he saw me, and he's loved me ever since. I was like, hell yeah. Good old Danny Boy. He fucking hates uh, Hillary Clinton and fuckboy Buckethead. He's great in my book. Makes no sense whatsoever. All right. <laughs> this is Now, I'm going to read the post that he made word for word, because we have to talk about this. Right. Since, the Call of Duty, since the Call of Duty Infinite Duty. Warfare trailer has... It, yeah, dude, yeah, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, God. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Hey, hey uh, Jackson, full ch- yeah, full shirt. I'm talking about Call of Duty. Watch, he's probably twisting his nipples. All right. God. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer has over a million YouTube, even though almost all of them are negative. <laughs> the big yep. uh, dislikes. Oh, Here is a oh, terrible man. move. Here's a terrible move by Activision and Infinity Ward, and I agree. Mm -hmm. They're selling the best Call of Duty game ever, which is Call of Duty 4, one of the best fucking shooters ever made. That game was revolutionary. Modern Warfare, and it's the remastered version for the PS4 and Xbox One, and I saw it. Wow. Wow. It's incredible. It it does look pretty stunning, honestly. But But here's the catch. You can't buy it separately. You have to buy it alongside an Infinite Warfare when it comes out at eighty dollars. What? Are you kidding me? That is horseshit. Sixty, sixty for the game, and I'm guessing twenty for the remastered version. You have to buy it together. You can't buy it separate. Exactly. What kind of, what that kind of juvenile cheap ass bullshit is that? With one face palm, is it enough? Still. Usually you're doing that for me, uh, Lucas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, you guys, check out the pay- network page. Now, do it. Uh, Lucas, oh, okay. Let me see what we got here. Come on, come on, load up. Load up. Uh, the... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Sucking. <laughs> no, you know what that is? No, you know better yet? He's like, he's finally with the hottest Asian chick, and then when he pulled down her panties, he saw a cock. <laughs> oh, God. No, he's out of his excitement. He's got to be enjoying something. That would be when he's, um, when he's distressed. <laughs> that's when he, no, that's when he, that's when he goes bareback and he puts it in for the first time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not yet. You know what? Just for me saying, you know Gary? Gary's got so many fucking photos. You know what his, you know what his Skype uh, his Skype photo is? It's a picture of me making a goofy look. I look like Uncle fucking Fester in that thing. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, thank you to... Oh, fuck, that was funny. Uh, oh, I just did it. Yeah, thank you to Danny Rosemary. And speaking of another video game uh, category, I'm just going through these real quick. Like, I, I got to Uh, Okay, this is about the Video Game Hall of Fame. Okay. Okay. Now, when they were first introduced, I remember you, Joe, and many other people were saying what should be introduced in the Hall of Fame, and these were the three games I first said. I said, you need to get Tetris, Super Mario Bros., and Doom. And guess what? Those were the three first games. Oh, that's Okay. Not bad for casual gamers. Okay. So, they introduced six new games into the Hall of Fame. And wow. I explained this to Alex. Uh, Alex, I the fucking right. <laughs> oh, boy. And he agreed with all six of these, and so do I. Here are the six new inductees. Uh, the Oregon Trail. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the classic adventure game, one of the best games ever, The Legend of Zelda from the NES. Oh, oh man, that is a classic. Yep. Um, this was the very first open world 3D sandbox game ever made, and it launched a franchise. Grand Theft Auto 3. Wow. My. Oh, wow. Uh, I, dude, it was rough. Dude, I played this originally on the PC, and I couldn't stop playing it, and then, you know, Vice City came out, and... That was great, and then came San Andreas, and that's what blew my fucking balls off. Uh, 
The, I can agree with this one. The Sims. Ooh. Oh my. Sims, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, watch, 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 uh, watch this fucking Pepsi man's gonna be twisting his fucking nipples. So you ready for this? Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. Yeah. Oh my! That's a classic. That's a good one. He's gonna take those Sonic rings and twist his nipples with those. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and final, and and finally, one of probably the most infamous classic arcade game of all time. Oh Space man. Space Invaders. Oh, oh, wow, good. Ooh, yeah. Still. And here's what I've been reading. I heard that Madden, uh, the first uh, EA Sports Madden NFL, was snubbed by the video game Hall of Fame. Oh, oh God. Wow. Well, here's what I had to say. Uh, it's like snub. I was like, you can say that about a lot of games, man. Oh, my That's God. true. Well, that is very true, yeah. Still. You can say that about Mike Tyson's punch You can say that about Resident Evil 4. You can say that about Super Metroid. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. You can say that about Half-Life 2. You can go on and on and on and on. Oh, for sure, definitely. Oh, my. So, I think... And I know there's two more video games, but I want to save those for there because I know Shane wants to talk about those more. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my God. i got to explain this. You ready? Mm-hmm. This is my last one. I read this. I was like... Oh my god, I have to talk about it. It is movie related for all the wrong reasons. Okay. Okay, you ready? Ready. Now, uh, still connecting, still connecting. Okay. Uh, where was this at? I'm trying to see where. Okay. A uh, school teacher. Uh, wait. Come on now. A school, te- a school teacher mm. was suspended for showing her high school class the movie The Human Centipede 2. Oh my god. God help me. Now, besides the fact Horrible. that it's a bad movie, that is just a bad decision in general. Agree. Why? Dude, okay, I've seen the okay, It's in black and white. I've seen the movie. It, it was my number two worst film of 2011. This movie is despicable in every fucking way. It is. Still. Why? Would you show it? Okay, no, no, you gotta show films like, you know, like Schindler's List, or United 93, or 12 Years a Slave, okay? You should show those films at school. Still. Yeah, exactly. Not this, not this snuff, this, you know, this fucking torture porn snuff bullshit. Dude, that's just mentally scarring, like, why would you even do that? Yeah, exactly. Like, like, like it was despicable in every fucking way. Yeah, like, why? Just, how, why, whatever, in what universe and some reality out there would be this be a great idea? Just, I don't, oh my god, dude, why the f- or Why the hell? Show, or show him, uh, D-Day, <laughs> Private Ryan. Yeah, sure, it's, uh, it's R-rated and it's graphic, but it's history. It's history, exactly. It, it, it is. It's, it's huge landmark historical, um attributes towards the United States history. Still. What the fuck? Some Tennessee high school teacher was show this bullshit? God damn, man. Uh, I, just, yeah, I, just don't, I just don't get it, dude. Oh, yeah, man. and speaking of Tennessee, um, I have a friend of mine who, I, I have some family members who came from Tennessee, and I don't know what just happened to Tennessee high school in 2016. It was the worst year for Tennessee. Continue. I don't get it. I don't get it, But, um... Yeah, no, yeah, no joke. I, I, when I saw that, I had to tell you folks that. So, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna let you guys talk, because I'm out of... I'm running out of air. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, you get your topics in first, then I'm gonna go into my movie reviews. He goes, oh, boy. Oh, my. Oh, I got a dark... Okay. I got Dark Souls related. Okay. Right. Oh, I need to. Uh, <laughs> Okay, first off, I have officially completed Dark Souls 3. Oh my. My long, long journey has finally come to an end. Folks, I saw Shane play a lot of the game, and one of the, you know, Romy Loses His Fruit series is based off of one of those playthroughs. Yeah. Still. It's the only teaser I'm going to give you, and Austin was laughing so fucking hard, I'm surprised he didn't shit and piss himself. Yeah, seriously. So, <laughs> not in that order, particularly, but. So. <laughs> no, I just like, well, at the same time, that's talent. <laughs> yeah, that is talent. Oh, I my. I, I'm going to be impressed. But, um, 
Yes, I completed Dark Souls 3, and let me tell you, it was a wild ride through and through. Uh, what can I say about the final boss fight besides the fact that it took me by surprise, not only in a gameplay sense, but a lore sense as well, too. Holy shit. Go on, help me. Mm. Uh, God. <laughs> what are you giggling about? What are you giggling Are you laughing at my meme still? It's time for a war, Lucas. This is your oh, own civil war. Oh, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> what did he fucking do? Yeah, you'll see. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. It's not going to be You want me to send you, you, to send you the link? No, I'll look. I'll take oh, a look. Okay. Oh, my. So, I got my phone with me. I'll, I'll, I'll just wait. Not, I'll, I'll, I'll just wait until uh, Lucas is done. I'm sorry, but I, when I saw that, I was just dying. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm that's sorry. All right. I, yeah, it's all right. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm fucked up now. No, don't worry. I got some more. Uh, hey, to this, to, this, to, this, to this one individual, take notes, because that is what funny trolling is. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. But, um, but for yeah. Ian Smith, however, it just doesn't make any sense. But I'll get to Rodney in a few in episode three or four of Algebra React. Continue. More Dark Souls. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So, Dark Souls three, I gotta say, was a incredible game through and through. Not without, of course, its uh, flaws. There's a few things that I'm not too privy on. For, uh, frame droppage, uh, connection yeah. problems. Um, and sometimes just, you know, general bullshittery that goes on. Uh, like the fact that they made some like, of the kind of useless to join in. So. Oh, oh so yeah, the, the network system in the game, how you try to make them join and they oh, might lose connection and whatnot. Yeah. And sometimes some of the, okay, for me, the worst enemies I saw you fight were the, uh, we call them the branders because they uh, are so fucking cheap. No, they're actually called the jailers, but I also kind of like, you know, the branders because they have this thing where... They have this lantern on them, and if they're in, if you're in their line of sight, they remove uh, chunks of your main um, HP, your max HP over time, so until it's yes. like mm -hmm. a small bar. And if they yeah, hit they, that brand, you your equipment you loads. Die. No, not it's not just not just dead. pretty much because uh. dude, the max bar it shrinks. Yeah, I know. It does exactly. shrink your bar and. and you know, because there's a difference, and you don't get it back until you you can't fill it up. Except here's the problem: your health doesn't go back when you when you when the bar is maximized again. You have to go get your health again. You I'm like, oh my god, these guys are fucking cheap. Yeah, no, exactly. The thing is, you gotta catch them off guard. They're patrolling the area, and sometimes you can catch them uh, beforehand because they have a sort of a wind up when it comes to the um uh what's it called when they do the curse thing. They have a bit of a wind up, so you can just keep yeah. playing on them, and mm -hmm. the curse won't affect you because they're they're stun locked. They can't do anything. Um, mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, there was a bunch of tough enemies in this game that was just like, oh my god, this is brutal. I'm dying. Fucking kill me, please. But by the end of this game, it was something just amazing. It was just I sat there and just <laughs> I sat there in. In Solstice, just wondering, like, wow, this this is it. This was the end of Dark Souls right here and then. And oh, let me my. Tell you something. I, I'm very satisfied with what I got. I really am. 64 hours later, I'm very satisfied. And I'm still playing the game, too. I've still got other characters I'm working on. <laughs> so, uh, what the heck? Uh, well, I was going to make a hand-to-hand <laughs> hand fighter. First, it was going to be Kenshiro. Then, afterwards, it was going to be uh, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy! I was going to name him Hank Hell, but oh, it, 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 didn't work, it didn't work out because you know what? No, 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 call him Hank. Call him Hank Hell and make him a biker. He's part of the Hell's Angels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still. But uh, it worked better in Fallout 4. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still playing the game. It's really nice. Um, but there's one other thing that happened uh, recently. Uh, in Dark Souls 3 that it blew my fucking mind. I wouldn't have believed it unless I saw it myself, which I did. Um, mm -hmm. What, the final boss? Yes. Still. So, you know, the final boss. Yeah. There was a, um, a player out there who had a character at level oh, 1. Oh my god! He had a character at level 1. 
He didn't dodge. He didn't, um... He wow. did not dodge, parry, or get hit once. And he yep. beat the fireball on by himself without taking a single hit of damage. Yep. And yeah. I'm like, you saw the whole video, I couldn't fucking believe it! I know, I was I was dumbfounded. I really was. I'm like, okay, everyone go home. This is the best player we got here. Fucking... Oh, man. Oh, my. I, I posted, the, there was two videos. One of them was that. And mm -hmm. I was watching this. I was like, how the fuck is that even possible? Yeah, right. And, then, and mm -hmm. there was another boss where he's one of the most difficult bosses in the game. And he kills them with almost one fucking hit. Still. Yep. Now, I figured out how he did this. And it's a very painful, complex uh, amount of things he did beforehand. Mixed in with a bit of sorceries, <sighs> items, um, and, of course, rings. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's a ring where uh, it boosts your critical damage, which also counts for parrying. Uh, he had the dragon uh, torso stone, which increased his um, overall strength if uh, if activated. Which only, it only the buff only lasts for like five seconds, too. you got to be really quick. No. Um, he also had a um, pyromancy called Power Within which he used in order to uh, increase his overall damage um, at the expense of his own HP, and so on and so forth. He just put all of his damage-building stuff at one time and used it as a gamble against one of the toughest bosses in this game. Mm -hmm. And parried him, gave him the biggest fucking smackdown. One go. That was it. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was like one big hit. It, it, almost, it took almost... He, he took like almost everything and he just hit him for another small yeah. hit. Yeah, that's God. the other. I was just yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who is he? Oh doing? my. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it was a, he's a one punch man. Fucking. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was. I couldn't believe it. My, and, uh, it was one of those things. I couldn't believe it unless I saw it for myself, and I did. Man. God, dude. Absolutely incredible. It's amazing what some of the uh, players come up with. Still. It really is. And that's why I really like the community for this game, in some aspects. Yeah. But other than that, it's there's not a lot of other Dark Souls news going on. Um, there's people complaining about the poise system and stuff like that. However, I have another uh, game-related topic I'd like to discuss about. A new game that uh, was uh, put on open beta uh, until recently. Uh, <laughs> um, and the game's coming out within the next two weeks. It's called Overwatch. Mm -hmm. oh, I've heard of Overwatch. Overwatch is uh, Blizzard's answer to Valve's Team Fortress 2. Now, the difference between them is that uh, Overwatch is character-based, while uh, Team Fortress 2 is class-based. But they all have the characters that are memorable. Both sides have very uh, mm -hmm. memorable characters. Um, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And they both have their uh, their strong suits and, of course, their weak points. Yeah. And, but I gotta say, Overwatch is one of these games that I just could not tire of playing, honestly. It was the... Yeah, still, I just... i never seen this before, but it was i seen they're coming out with Overwatch 2. I don't know what's gonna happen, but whatever. It was basically playing the same kind of, uh, kind of game, but at the same time, I'm just playing it over and over and over again. It was just like, oh my god, it's so much fun. I don't know why. Still. It's good, man. It's great. It's a great time. Um, although I am thinking about picking up Battleborn, uh, possibly tomorrow, because like, mm -hmm. I got paid then. Still. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I, I, I might be um, playing that, because I actually played the, um, the closed beta. No, I'm sorry, not even the beta, the alpha to the game. In fact, I wasn't actually supposed to talk about it to I still did anyways. Uh, I'm not worried for sure. No, no, it was just a contract thing. I, like, I couldn't make a video about it. Um, I couldn't uh, discuss outside anywhere besides, you know, like, normal uh, word of mouth. I just couldn't make videos or anything about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, Battleborn was fucking awesome. I, I, it's like Borderlands, except uh, very um, MOBA style. But, uh, man... I gotta Still. Say, uh, I'm, I'm considering getting it. It's looking pretty nice. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, Still. I, I actually just found out Overwatch is only $40. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so it's tempting. Very tempting. Still. But anyways, um, I don't have a whole lot of other uh, bits of news out there. Um, 
I know I mentioned on Facebook that I'm wanting to do a new segment. I want to see what you guys think of it first, but if you want to have some more, uh, oh my. You know, some more topics to go on, then we'll do the segment I later. Do because okay. Let's save it for later because first I'm going to do something on the network. So give me one second. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my. Give me one second, and then I'm going to get into some movie news because oh boy, we got some movies to talk about for me oh, today. Yeah, for so. Sure. Starting out though, I, I want to talk about a bunch of movies. One of them you will talk about later on, Shane. But then first, mm -hmm. I want to talk about some of the other movies I saw my own. Starting out with Barbershop, the next cut. Yeah, um, I've seen the first two before, but not the first next cut. But it was awesome. Well, well, the, third, uh, yeah, the third installment. The third installment. This is 12 years after the third, second one came out, which was Barbershop 2. Now, this is a new one starring Ice Cube. Cedric Entertainer, Nicki Minaj, and many more people. Oh, fuck her. The store? Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, I never, I've never seen there. Yeah, it, you don't lie to somebody, but anyway. For this, Nicki Minaj is actually decent in this movie's acting. Like, she actually has a few jokes. Uh, all right, right, that's good. You know what? I'll give her credit. She should act instead of freaking rap. That's all I can say. Agreed. I'm not a rap person. I can... I'm all, I'm more of a, hit, a rock, rock and roll heavy metal person myself. Still to this day. Yeah, I, I really don't like that woman. I really don't. I know, trust me. I, I need to test. Well, I, I love women, but not really in the rap, but I'm in hip hop. I'm sorry, but continue. <laughs> trust me, I don't either, but. I fucking can't stand her. Trust me. She did a decent job. Like she was not there. The one problem with the movie was that the fact the middle of the movie was a bit slow compared to the rest of it. I don't yeah. understand why because they wanted to get a good mess start to get the like the plot together. And the end message of the movie is very very good. I love how the ending of this movie is. It's a very very well done movie. I really really love this movie because I like this movie a lot because this is like the sequ this year. There's a lot of years where. You had sequels coming out for films that came out a long time ago. My great, my big fat Greek wedding, which who was god awful. I didn't talk about that greatly, but I did see a parts of it. Oh, that's Lord. so bad. Oh my god, that's horrible. That's gonna go on worse. Let's, but we'll talk about more about that later. I, I can only imagine what. We'll talk about this later. Um, <laughs> big fat Greek wedding two. We got, <laughs> we got um, you got. Zoolander 2, which I enjoy, but I know a lot of people hate it. I can understand why people hated the movie. And then you have Barbershop. So I'm going to give Barbershop the next cut a, a 9 out of 10. Wow. Mm -hmm. right. oh, wow, that's Because that's the dude. message for the movie alone, the message of the movie and how the acting is, the acting is very well done. And the jokes in this movie are very, very, very fun. How does it compare to the first one? Because the first movie was also really good. I think it's tough to tell because I haven't seen the first one in a long time. I have to go back and rewatch the first one. Oh, yeah. Is Dexter the Entertainer in, in this one? Because he was great in the first one. Yes, he is. He is. He's also in Charlotte's Web 2006 movie. It was awesome. He's back. Okay, good. Okay, because he, he was the main highlight of the first movie. Yes, he was. And, oh, my God. Yeah, this definitely check Barbershop, to, Barbershop the next cut out because it definitely is one of those movies that no, why? I was even like, oh my god, this movie is not going to be good. Completely changed my mind. This is my most surprising film of the year. Wow. Mm -hmm. Give this movie a shot. I definitely would say that. Give this movie a shot because this is definitely one movie that you should see. Yeah, right, when, I seeing, when I was seeing the early praise, like the praise was unanimously, like, unanimously optimistic and they loved it. I was just like, wow, I was not expecting that. Oh, yeah, all right. one, thing Still. Was one thing else hilarious. Um, there was Reggie Black was the cameo for Barack Obama in the movie, which was in the um, trailer. Dude, oh, yeah, yeah. he's lot. hilarious in this movie. Like, the cameo is perfect. It is awesome. Still. I love the cameo. That scene was funny. That was over a funny scene. So, yeah. Go check Barbershop the next time out. Next movie is Eddie the Eagle. Never heard of the movie. This oh, you know, is it. I actually managed to see it. I was watching this today along with another movie. Anyway, the Eddie of the Eagle, though, I actually did see this movie. It is probably one of the most... It is a very good movie. I do enjoy this movie. Not as much as Barbershop, but this movie is a very good movie. It's a good story good about 
to turn into who plays a character who wants to be Great Britain's first winter athlete. Because he's no at that time there was no British winter athletes competing. They were all competing in the Summer Olympics. Yeah, this yeah. is the first one about the ski jumper. Probably my props for this movie go to Hugh Jackman. He is the best part of this movie. Agree, yeah. big time. But like, Hugh Jackman gives an absolutely great performance in this movie. I like really like this movie a lot. Like there are some pacing issues here and there, and some of the acting from the supporting characters aren't as good as like the main two ladies, Aaron Edgerton and mm-hmm. Hugh Jackman, are the stars of the show. Otherwise, the acting's all right. It's not horrible, it's, but it's, it's it's not horrible. It's like what would you say, subpar? Or it's, it's, it could have been like the actors could have been done by other people. Like it could have been. It's could have been. Uh, still, they could have found better people. Is all. Yeah, they could have found better people. But otherwise, though, I still really enjoyed Eddie the Eagle. Though I give this movie. I give this movie an 8 out of 10. I feel like it's a very... Going up. Oh, boy. Did you see it, Jerome? When your crush teases you with her big tits and booty, you're all over oh, your God. Mind. What's going on? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Anyway, let me... All right, so we got more memes. So, starting out with mine. Let me see how mine get on. Oh, my mine is now... <laughs> God! Oh, dearie, don't worry. I've already gotten... Yes, Jesus I Christ, you two. Do I, do I have to pull this fucking car around? Do I, do I have to go ahead and bring up my belt? Do I God. have to hand you over and smack your ass my belt? <laughs> oh, my. Anyway, oh, let me see where mine is. I gotta find where my second one is. Hold on. Because after this, I gotta go talk. Um, Alright, so then... All right, here we go. Okay, that's a oh, okay. have to bring out the belt, God dang it. No. Let me tell you something, son. Go out to that tree and break off a branch stick so I can smack your ass with it. Oh, <laughs> my. Go pick out the stick there. Go pick out the stick. Make sure it's not small enough. I'll know over this. <laughs> so, anyway, next movie I want to talk about Midnight Society. This is an independent no. film, though. It's a very, it's a, it was released in a few amount of films. It wasn't released in... Wait, 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 hold up. It was released in a few, a few amount of what? Theaters. Like, there was you. a few theaters. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I had, like, I had a tongue twister on that one. So Midnight Society, though, the acting is pretty good, and this is yeah. definitely an underrated special movie. It's not the greatest movie, unfortunately, but it is still very good. Like, the acting... The, the best part of this movie, in my opinion, is the cinematography. The cinematography in this movie is really good. It made... The cinematography? Yes, and this movie made a huge profit. Yeah, so. it's Midnight Special, not the uh, Midnight Society, according to uh, Pepsi, Night, Night, Pepsi Man. So there you go. Thank goodness for that, because it was a $5.4 million budget, and it ended up making $18.18 million, so... Oh wow, or triple. I do like the, nice. I do like the story. The acting is very good. Joel Edgerton in this movie is one of the big highlights mm. of this movie. Michael Shannon's very good. Adam Driver's in this movie. Kylo Ren, he's in this movie. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Kylo Ren's in it. Kirsten Dunst is in this movie. It's a very good story. I really like the story. I really like the characters. The characters kept me in this movie. There are a mm-hmm. bit of a pacing issues here and there with the movie. And one scene felt like it wasn't really necessary with the rest of the movie. Otherwise, though, I give Midnight Special 7.5 out of 10. Wow. I definitely recommend going to see it online if you have a chance. It's a good one. Now, um, before I go into my rant, we're going to do uh, a... I know we're going to oh, do a oh. combined... Well, Shane, I'm going to have to do a combined review after the rant, but... Okay. If that's okay with you, because I know what movie we're going to be talking about. Yeah. You know what movie. Oh, oh. Hey, I saw, it t- I saw it today, so... We'll all talk about it in just a bit. I have two films I want to talk about. Okay, I, I just wanted to make mm. a small note. I just want to make sure we have uh, enough time for both the new segment and, of course, the uh, conversation topic. Oh, so, yeah, we will. Don't worry. Trust me. We'll get yeah. through everything quickly. But um, yeah. so start out first, So I'm going to talk about these movies. This one, I'm not going to talk about this much, but the one after. Oh, my God. So starting out, we got me, my big fat great wedding too. Oh, it was wow. the silliest movie I ever seen. So yes, <laughs> move it on. Uh, this what, why was this? Why was this ever a thing? I I don't know. I did, I watched the first one beforehand. I didn't see why everyone anyone liked it. Yeah. Wait. I, so wait, I like the, wait. The first one. Yeah, the first one. I'm yeah. like it. 
it's okay, but deserving of a sequel? Really? This it was Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. So there you go. One of those films that had like a, it had a continuous trend and a following for a while, and that's what made it successful. Yeah. Yeah. Midnight, look, this movie is bore, one of the most boring movies I've had to sit through. Literally. Mm -mm. No. No. 42 minutes in, almost fell asleep. I literally, <laughs> I was dozing out of this movie. I didn't care about the most of this movie at all. It's just, it's just stupid. This movie is not worth your time. It's boring. The actors are terrible. The scenes make you want to gouge your eyes out. It's just... One of those movies I really do not want to see again or talk about anymore. It's definitely on my worst list. There was one joke in the end. I'm like, all right, why wasn't it in this in the rest of the movie? Otherwise, though, I say skip this movie. I give it 0.5 out of 10 stars. No, no. Don't skip it for me, in my opinion. So there you go. Damn. <laughs> this movie's that bad. It's just the one of the most boring movies you'll see this year. It, it, it almost as bad as... Um, my Rock the Cash was from last year. No, it's not. That was just as bad as well. I never even, like I said, if it's not even, like, a, that was not even, a, like, a vote for theatrical releases, by the way. Maybe well, I'm talking about, about, like, a wide release, like, ones that actually has, you know, noticeable distribution. If it's only going to be in, like, I don't know, a very, very small limit, limited amount of theaters, like, uh, Meet the Blocks. You told me it was only in, what, 80-some theaters? 86. We'll get into that in just a bit because, oh, oh my God. <laughs> but, yeah, let me see something with how many, um, how many theaters my big fat Greek went. Because I think this was a live release, actually. Let me see. I think oh, it was. Yes, yeah, so let me see real quick. Give me one second. Oh, let me just get troll. Huh? No, just so you know, I'm not 640 on the, uh, 640 theaters. Damn. Okay, so that's so so. Anyway, though, I'm not on the I'm not on the live chat just to uh, let you guys know because you know I don't want my computer fucking up anymore. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, so. on, I'm on it, so not to worry. No worries. All right. All right. If, we any, so. if we get any questions, I'll let you know. So. All right. Oh okay. God. This movie. I just saw this before I went to go walk my dog. I had to walk my dog and then work out after because I had to get the stress out of this movie, guys. Meet the Blacks, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this movie oh. is beyond god awful. It's god. Uh, god awesome. You mean? <laughs> it's literally this movie is so stupid. It makes the, the purge look. It makes the purge look like Citizen Kane compared to. Oh, okay, that's big words, because you don't meet with a fucking turd series. Dude, no, I'm, no, don't, dude. Don't call it the purge, call it the turd. That's just the what it turd. is, it's a fucking turd. turd. It makes a turd look like a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, how good oh, oh, bad wow. Meet the Blacks is. This, okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the movie, though. This stars Mike Epps. He has not been in too much recently. He was a comedian in the 90s, and now he's starting his own show now on ABC, because this was one of the movies to promote his show. Pretty much. But Meet the Black Zoe is pretty much a parody of the turd. But it's not funny. It's not entertaining at all. And literally, there is filler until 30 minutes in the movie when the purge starts. Oh, I didn't filler. realize we were watching Bleach. <laughs> oh, oh my god. This movie has the worst anime jokes. Joke. This one the joke has the biggest tropes ever. The tropes are terrible. Like, all the characters are pretty much tokens. I'm not kidding. All the to characters are tokens. Oh. Yep, this movie had it only made eight point nine million dollars. It was it was considered a success because it was only a one to two million dollar budget. Yeah, it, that that doesn't surprise. Surprise, it, it looks like it cost that fucking much. To be honest, dude. It, it the, oh my god, this movie is so repul. This movie is just so stupid. Like I even called like literally, I called out in the last act of the movie. I called out everything I was gonna happen. Like I'm not kidding you. Like I. <laughs> Nah. This movie has some of the worst cameos possible. I'm going to tell you guys who's in this movie. There is George oh, Lopez. I'm not, I'm not gonna... oh. George Lopez, Mike Tyson. Wait, really? George Lopez? He's awesome in the new George Lopez show. But really, I need to meet the blacks. It was awesome. So, there you go. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, terrible idea. As Hilton. Are in this movie. Oh, I can't 
and Perez Hilton. Yeah, and, yeah, Perez Hilton. Yeah, I know. Perez Hilton is the main, probably one of the main villains in this entire movie. He's annoying. He's an annoying fucker, too. Oh, like, my God. He is so annoying of this movie. Mike yeah. Tyson, dude, he was horrible. He is one of the worst characters of the year. Mike Tyson's character is just, it's him in a clown. He's wearing clown hair and he has a mask. And he's purging. That is his character. Oh my god, that's so dumb. Man. See, this is the reason why I don't bother with this type of film because it's only 86 theaters. Why should I fucking bother? They did come out there, so and then, that's okay. true, but it's not a but it's not a mainstream release. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I can understand that though. It wasn't a big release, so anyway, yeah, it's though, only, it's this, not even 100 theaters. I know, but this, <laughs> though, ladies and gentlemen, you want to hear. Something ridiculous in this movie. You know the president of the United States who makes the announcement at the, you know, the beginning of this movie. You know what his name is? It's George Lopez, by the way. You know what his name is, though? Hmm. President L. Bama. Love the guy. I'm not kidding. Wait, L. Bama. L. Bama. It's two words. L. Bama. Not. It's that not is a so lame, dude. Dude. This movie. How is that even funny or clever? That's just stupid. I don't know. This it's movie a, it's a pun. is so goddamn awful. This movie. You mean god awesome, you mean. So stupid. Literally, it's the purge, but only with a few scenes added in it. Like, a few, like, new scenes added in it. It's pretty much word plot for plot point. Like, so it's pretty what much happens, what happens. The twist happens. What happens with the twist. So oh. it's... it's it's pretty much Fifty Shades of Black to the gray, like uh, Meet the Blacks was to the turd. Yeah. Uh-uh. Much. No, it's not. Shades of Black is much worse. Like, that was just a fact that I walked out. This movie, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to surf my web while watching this movie because I just don't care anymore. I don't care about these characters. I don't care about anything. <laughs> God, this movie is a zero. Ladies and gentlemen, do not see uh, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, do see this movie. This yeah. film, this film is just... Horrible. It's it's stupid. It's one of the dumbest movies I've seen. It makes Jason Freeberg and Eric Seltzer's movies kind of funny. I'm not kidding you. Even though they're not, it makes them look better. Makes no goddamn sense, but whatever. So Meet the Blacks. Yeah, this movie was god awful. Don't see this movie. No, it's awesome. See the movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking fucking Gary. <laughs> what did he do this time? It's towards me now. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh. All right, it's time to unleash. <laughs> oh gosh. Sorry. All right, it's time to release more shenanigans. Now let's get into something we actually, really, I'm actually excited to talk about, and that is Captain America: Civil War. Hell yeah! Uh, all yeah. three of us saw this movie. Me and Shane uh, saw it on last, last Saturday, right? Yeah, I, I literally saw this today. My uh, showing was at 155, so. <laughs> mm. Jeez, man. And I will say this. Um, I, I didn't check Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know what it's at right now, to be honest with you. But, you know, I went in this almost completely blind. You know, I've seen the trailers here and there. I'm going to start off by saying this, folks, about Captain America Civil War. Yeah. Saying that this is the sequel to the Avengers we should have gotten in the first place is an understatement. Saying that this is the best film of the year so far is an understatement. Yeah. Saying that this is the best Marvel movie ever made is an understatement. This is... I'm not kidding you, Excuse folks. Me. I couldn't believe my eyes. This is the best superhero film I have seen since Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight in 2008. Oh, my. Wow. I this movie is a triumphant fucking achievement. Mm -hmm. Really mm -hmm. is. Definitely. It really honestly is. Because, think about this. There's so much, okay, you're probably thinking this could have been a disaster. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because there, there's a lot of plot going on in this movie. Okay? There's a lot of characters in this movie. However, no one is wasted. Every scene holds merit. Every motive in this movie makes perfect sense. The comedy in this movie is pure fucking gold. Yeah. Uh, you got, uh, if you, you know, you got Black Panther, perfect. This is the best version of Spider-Man I've seen in, on film. Yeah, right? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, Tom Hawk. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Sam Raimi's movies, you can suck my ass because they suck. And yeah, I, I'm sorry. I hated them. And Andrew Garfield, you were good until Tom Holland showed up. How they introduced him in this movie, brilliant. Mm-hmm. That's this, for sure. I'm sorry. This movie is a tour de force. This is. This is. This is the Dark Knight for Marvel. Still, it is. Because, I can honestly agree with that. Because this is a two and a half hour movie. And there's a lot of things going on. Wow. But everything makes perfect sense. And there's a lot of serious note to this movie. There is. But it, 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 and I'm not, no spoilers, but there's this one scene at the, it's kind of like a plot twist. There's this one scene near the end. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh my. That's what you're talking about. Y- yeah. Like I said, it, just don't say, you know, because you want to go in this almost completely blind. That's what I did. And, oh, and by the way, hey, Batman v Superman, take some fucking notes. This makes no sense, but whatever. It's it's a it's an off movie, but it makes no sense. How you do a horse's movie? Okay, I want to say something real quick about the movie. My one of my favorite scenes in the entire movie was Robert Downey Jr. breaking the fourth wall. And once there's one scene with Tom Holland, I'm not gonna say what it is, but there is. Oh, a I know. Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. scene is pure gold. I am not kidding you. And there are oh. memes that spawn because of it. Well, my the funniest scene in the movie for me it involves um mm-hmm. saying, I don't want to it involves um uh Anthony Mackie I think is his name and yep. uh, I forgot who plays I forgot the actor who plays the Winter Soldier. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Bucky. Bucky and uh Bucky and um oh shit, what's his name? Uh, Falcon. Anthony Mackie. Falcon. The Falcon. Yep. Okay, they're in a car. They're both. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's and how the scene ends afterwards, where uh, it, the the look on their faces. Oh, that's man. all I'm gonna say. That was oh my god, probably the funniest fucking thing oh, ever. It, it was, it was out of character, but it was fucking brilliant. Mm. And that's what's so. good about this. It's like they, they they the movie is self aware with their jokes, but it doesn't feel out of place. Still, yeah, it really doesn't. doesn't. And the fucking action scenes in this movie. Once again, Batman v Superman, hey, it's with cool. their verses, this, dude, I'm so happy the Russo brothers are doing the uh, the Avengers Infinite, Infinite War. Infinity War. Infinity War, right, right there, one there, God damn it. Yeah, so. Infinity War. They are perfect. Yes. They are perfect. This is, this is Marvel's The Dark Knight achievement. This is my best film of the year. This is a 10 out of 10. Still, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. I don't even think Suicide Squad can top this. That is how good this movie is, folks. I can honestly agree with that because I, I, I was gonna say another thing as well. The airport scene in this movie is worth the entire ticket price. No, so that's the that's the versus uh segment. Yes. Still, so, that's the airport I like scene. Batman, I like Batman v Superman, which that fight was pretty fucking lame. This is one of the coolest fucking fights I think I've ever seen in film. It was clever. It was so creative. It was so unique. It was funny. It was extremely funny. And Still. It, it doesn't feel out of place, and it, it was so well done. Oh, my God. I couldn't talk more good about this film. Yeah, you can't it's praise it. I, I, can't, I certainly can't praise it enough. Star Joe. Just, I'm just gonna say that right now, Scar Jo. She's getting, she's now becoming more of my celebrity, more my number one celebrity crush ever. Oh, God. dude, you want? I'm her. sorry, I'm you sorry. Want, I bet you want her to dress up as Black Widow and put you in a triangle choke, motherfucker. I would not. Mind oh that God. At all. <laughs> I honestly would not mind that at all. It'd be a dream come true. Yeah, still. Yeah, this this is this is a fucking achievement, in in the in not only in the superhero genre, but in movies in general. Yeah, Batman I, uh-huh. take fucking notes, because this is how it's done. So, this is not my number one. I've been thinking about this for a while since Saturday. This is oh, my no, this number is one year now. This is easily, I told you, it's the best Marvel movie ever made. Still. This I is a 10 out of, this right. is the best. I don't know anything that can top it this year. Still. I'm not sure if anything can top it. It's going to be tough, man. So. Anyway, though, Shane, what do you think of your final thoughts on Um, yeah, I really love Deadpool, but my goodness, man. Oh my goodness! Uh, this one's tough for me to say, really, because I loved both, but I have, I may have to go ahead and give it to uh, Civil War, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like wow. It, oh yeah, and you know what? 
one thing, okay, here was one of my biggest problems with the Avengers, because remember how in New, they fucking tear the shit out of New York? Hey, I love it in the movie mm. Man of Steel, and they're like, oh, look at all the destruction. I'm like, look at fucking New York and the Avengers. They address this in Still. the movie. Oh, my <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. This movie is fucking brilliant. Still. This, yeah, this is my favorite film of the year, without question. Still. Same here. Mm-hmm. All so, right, sir. All right, now, before we get into any more topics, Shane, this is something that you need to discuss right now as well. Yes. Oh, boy, this is, one of my last, this is my last big topic of the night, and this needs to be addressed, because a few, mm-hmm. a month around... Uh-uh. No. It, it, it does need to be addressed, because I love the show, and that will be coming up in the, in the upcoming thing, so there you go and that. A month ago... There is a certain reboot that came onto Cartoon Network, and it, it was awesome. So, except for that one episode, which it sucked, you know. It's been hyped by many people. It's been hyped by many people. There have also been problems with the with the um, production of the show, along with mm-hmm. the voice cast. Yeah, yeah. I love Kristen Lee in the care and in the in the episode in the show. She's freaking hot as hell, you know. I would love to hug her so bad as Bubbles, you know, in the, in the Power of Girls. But, you know, that's just me. Your place, characters not being there anymore, being the worst character. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to say this right now. The Power of Girls reboot is one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my entire life. It's one- uh-uh. No. Just don't say anything fucking bad about this show. So bad. It makes no sense. It was a good show for me. And one up. Uh, what? Yeah, you know what's coming up in this thing? Don't call me princess. And yeah, when I type it in to Jenny one time, uh, Jenny Joy, Jenny Joyce, if you watch this episode, it's for you. She said, uh, "Don't call me princess." I'm like, oh my god, it was so hilarious. And then she's like, and I sent a link to Jenny. She said, "Send a link to the PM." I'm like, okay, fine enough. Continue. Be worship. Agreed. Oh my god, this show is just a slap in the face. No. Uh-uh, no it's not. A slap in the face, a slap in the face. Uh-uh, no it's not. No, uh-uh, no it's not. A kick in the balls. Uh-uh, no it's not. A kick in the taint. No, it's not e- that either. A guy pulling out his hey, pants hey, and hey, they take... Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Shit on you while you're down. This is not going anywhere. And and de- no, it's not. And pissing on you at. This is nasty. And no, it's not. That is how it is. It's and a fist in anus. Yep, no. no, it's not. If Teen Titan Go wasn't as bad as it is, this would be one of the worst shows I've ever seen. Myself. Yeah. Yeah. I saw. Every single episode, some of the episodes, it was awesome except for Teen Titans Go at crossover episode. It just sucked in my ass. You know, that's just me. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I wonder if Jendi Tarantoski, what does he think about this? Yeah. That's why he's going to focus on Samurai Jack because he's going to make that, like, one of the best things Oh my god, I'm going to, I'm still twerking my nips about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I am too. Twice the hip Oh my god. Uh, by the way, I posted where that originated from when I started. That was Pain and Game. Yeah, yeah. Check comes episode, episode 2. I've been using- yeah, still. I it, I never reacted to the pick, Pain and Game pickups episode. Though, he told me, yeah, Jerome told me I want to continue on reacting to pickups as soon as I'm done with this show, Penny Game Podcast, and Flicks the Dicks, and so forth. So there you go. Continue. I've been missing nipples for a while now. But, oh, man. But, um, I gotta say, man, Samurai Jack, man, that dick's hard as diamonds, and you know what they say? Diamonds are oh, forever. my. Diamonds are forever, and they are a girl's best, best friend. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway, though, Shane, we're going to talk more about this. Back yeah, more to the Powerpuff Girls reboot. Oh, my God. Like, it was awesome. The voice cast, honestly, is probably one that, one, it's not terrible, but I don't think it's terrible. I, could, I don't think it's, it, it's, it's noticeable, though, how they are compared oh, to Oh, yeah, it's, it's, a no, it's honestly a no comparison. It's, it's, it's really, yeah, 
It's really no comparison to the original, honestly, but at the same time, like, it could have been a metric fuck ton worse. Yeah, and, and it makes no s- yeah. Well, the original voice actors are awesome, but the, the, the newer voice actors, oh my god, they're so hot as hell. But anyway. It could have been so much worse. Now, let me explain the humor in this, alright? This oh, show. Oh, this, oh. this ought to be, this ought to be good. <laughs> All modern day things, including and not limited to memes. I shit you oh, not. My God. Now, memes are awesome. I mean, I've been doing uh, I've been doing a post on the Pop Up Girls reboot on my Facebook page. Now, I have done it in 2016 and it was awesome. I done it with my beard, mustache, and Mainly later on when I'm going to do it, I'm going to start doing my like long hair do. So there you go. Continue on. I'm talking about the memes that want me. What? I'm not talking about the fucking memes that fucking Gary makes and stuff like that, alright? I'm talking about the ones that circulate around the internet that's become really popular. The ones that um is more modern humor, you know? Because they were like, oh, we need a uh, show from a while ago but we have humor that is correlated to the kids today. And oh, yeah, that was good thing, by the way. That's what you fucking get. It's not funny. It, it is funny, too. Come on now. It's it's borrowed humor, as I like to call it. It's Bar humor makes no goddamn sense. Yeah, right. it's borrowed humor. It was funny the first time. It's not funny when you see bu bar bubbles get a nose and go the no me gusta thing. Yeah, the whole... It's, um, uh, no, it's not. So, well, it was awesome. So, there you go. Literally says, at that point, oh my god, I was gonna throw a bitch fucking fit, dude. dude See, I, I don't even know what this shit, I don't even know what that shit is, because I don't pay attention to that. Well, it, it, oh, yeah, it was awesome, big time. Yeah, I just don't. Dude, if you saw a drum, oh my god, if you saw one episode of that, you would lose your mind. Especially the one episode. Bad. Me what and Shane you, was. What would make you lose your mind more if you were a fan of the show beforehand, like I was and Lucas was? Same here. Yeah, we loved the show back when it was back on during the late, uh, no, uh late, late, late nineties, awesome. early two thousands. Now, yeah, I saw the Pop Up Girls in two, the late nineties, early two thousand, or no, early two thousands, something like that. Because I've been watching it since I was a kid, and. On Cartoon Network, especially the stupid show NNA, which is now the worst show in America, which I won't mention in the episode of the Belgian Reacts, which I'll talk about years and years before. I re I will talk about this on episode 32 of a, a, a Pancake Podcast Reacts video, and I re and I said it before, it was worse than um than the um. The Einsteins. It's worse than Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It's worse than anything else. But anyway. It's all... And I also like Johnny Bravo. I like the, um... Show called, um... Uh... Courage Carry Doll. But anyway. One of the other things that they added into this, which I thought was completely inappropriate. Yeah, makes no sense, but... Sorry! You go up this show... Completely inappropriate was twerking. Yeah. yeah, twerking is awesome. So parts of it was awesome, parts of it is not. You know, when I first heard it on YouTube, I'm like, seriously, you gotta shake your butt all the way. When I first heard about uh bubbles and blossom twerking with the panda, it was amazing. So I'm like, God help me out here. But when Molly Cyrus twerks. I'm like, no, get me out of here. But anyway, let's continue. I shit you not. I shit you not. There is twerking. They are twerking. I, I saw Wouldn't this guy. I actually had to take it. I had to do a double take. Dude. I yeah, and that's how I feel sometimes. That's when I wanted to do it anyway. And when I was heard as a kid, but never heard about it as a, as a today. When I first watched it, was a new, uh, new, uh, several episodes today, was a episode called, uh, the big four, the Power of Girls with the four on it, uh, I don't know what it's called, big four, and there's a fourth Power of Girl, and it has, 
uh, the taller than one, the fourth one is taller than Brock, the, the number three. And I'm like, okay, I've watched on another YouTuber called Val, uh, Valsky Scott, Spousy Some Bum, something like that, 94. I can't remember his name, I cannot pronounce his name. But he said, and I quote, that it was one of the worst show episodes ever. I'm like, seriously? What happened here? And got to the point that it's just, he, she returns back in, the, in, in seasons, I can't remember what season she's on, but anyway, let's continue on. To do a double take, I was like, they, they, they really are not showing this right here, right now, are they? I'm looking at, yes, yes they are. Yeah, still, they're twerking. I mean, as for Miley Cyrus, I'm off. I'm not doing any more Miley Cyrus twerking, but as for Hannah Montana, now, nowadays it's just lame and stupid, but as for, um, um, as, but, 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 as for, yeah, I wa was watching as a kid, but nowadays it's just boring as hell. You know, I want to watch Hannah Montana now, but I couldn't be able to watch it, so... I'm a male guy, so just sorry. Oh, wow. how, how did you get this past the board? Yeah, and then one time when I first watched them twerking on YouTube, it was just so amazing. You know, when I was a kid, I I, I was watching. I saw one one, uh, one girl who of my school. Uh, yeah, who's it? Leave me alone! And everyone saw a whole little lunchbox made out of Powerpuff Girls. I'm like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, the, you know, it was years later. Not the now, no, back then. It was, I said the word fuck when I was like, um, when I was only, um, six. Because I was six years old. I was a little kid and I'm not that young enough to watch Cartoon Network. Except for the stupidest fucking shows, A A because... It's the worst show in America. Period, and you go. Period, and at the and when I was five, when I first watched the News Hour with Jim Lair at the time, it was awesome. So I watched the News Hour first, then I switched to Cartoon Network, and what I get: Courage Carry Dog, um, Giant Bravo, Sean, Sheep in This Big C, and and then A, which is a stupid show, and. One of all, Power of Girls, which is awesome, but there you go. Oh, I have you know no... what? I bet you know something. I bet you when Lucas and she saw that, this is probably what their reaction was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 no, not you. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, baby, <laughs> yeah, like that. It's very, uh, very faint, but I can hear it. That is very yes, that is accurate. That is accurate. That is accurate. Okay. Um, another thing about this. Thank you, thank you, Pepsi, thank you, Pepsi Man, for telling me what that sound effect was. <laughs> um, don't excuse that. Thank you very much. But what? <laughs> um, another thing that really gets me about the show is the fact that it's just. I don't know. It's just. It's detestable. It's awful. It is. Oh. It is awful. Not awful for me. It was a great show. Except for that one episode. Despite that. Literally, they ruined the characters so badly. Especially... Makes no sense, but whatever. Some of the villains. The, well, one of the, okay, this is another thing I have to say right now. They ruined the fight scenes. They ruined, they ruined the yeah. fight scenes. Yeah. yeah, fight scenes. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that was great and all, but... As far as, uh, they were, they were turning actors, Tom Kane, Tom Kenny, there was, they're great actors, you know. Tom Kenny was on Spongebob, and, yeah, that was a great excuse for me, in my opinion. So, there you go. I, thank you, I completely forgot about that. Yes, they did ruin the fight scenes. They actually have fight scenes in the original show, and when the new one comes, they do jump cuts where they don't show them hitting anything. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, Jump Cut is awesome for me, in my opinion. So, there you go. What? Yeah, it's like... Oh, wait, who, who filmed this? Olivia Megaton? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, man, it's... Oh, oh so this is just... I, I, was, I was just dumbfounded because I was like, oh, cool, Powerpuff Girls is coming back. I'm, 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 okay. 
Because they can do this right, everything will be fine. Oh, everything was uh, the complete, utter fucking opposite. Mm-hmm. They were not fine. You did, oh, oh, my God. Just when I thought I couldn't get any worse. Uh, they ruined one of the biggest iconic villains in this entire series as well, too. Oh, the, the, the monkey? The... Yep, Mojo Jojo. Uh, Mojo Mojo is awesome, by the way. Mojo Jojo, something like that. Mojo Jojo, thank you. Yes. Oh, Everybody no. knows who Mojo Jojo is. Oh, hell yeah, absolutely. Yeah, now yeah. everybody wants to forget. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. It, it's, it's bad. It's just... It, it, you know, it's... It, it, Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was saying, we could rant on this for hours, and I only saw Makes no sense, things. but whatever. I saw... <laughs> That's okay, here's a, good, here's a good one. What do you think is worse? This new version or fucking uh, Mr. P- yeah, Mr. Pickles? Yeah, Mr. Pickles. Mr. Mr. Pickles is more disturbing, but it's, the problem with that show is fucking... Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. Both of them are not disturbing, so there you go. If you think the you know, orange is not bad... Oh my, you're gonna love another show I like. So there you go. It, it's disturbing humor in the sense that it's raw, It's basically disturbing for all the wrong reasons. Right. But, right. uh, well, uh, this is um, a of Girls is a portion of humor, essentially. How does the animation look? The animation itself is, okay, I'm gonna it's speak, I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak as an artist here, all right? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not exactly the best artist. I'm I'm I'm, insp- I'm basically an insp- uh, up and coming artist uh, inspired by a lot of different. Oh uh, come on, you're, you're you're the next fan. You're the next fan. Go come on. <laughs> yeah, still. Fucking hell! I only wish. Then again, artist. Anyway, though. No. Uh, but anyways, the anime, the art style for it is not exactly the most appealing, but it's not also that bad. I can honestly um, agree with that, but I kind of, I kind of like how they, uh, they try to keep the original style, but they use thinner lines, with um, with everything. Well, in the original, they use thicker. Mm-hmm. Um, which I honestly like the thicker lines better for this one. It just works. Yeah, I love both better for me, in my opinion, except for the uh, Tea Time Skull slash uh, Pop Buff Girls uh, reboot. Uh, cost of, excuse me, which it sucks, you know. But both of the both of the shows better. But anyway, they did. Uh, but other than that, and as far as the anime, animation is is concerned, it's good in the sense that yeah, the movement isn't feeling like janky. It doesn't feel uh, forced. However, I agree with the whole fight scenes thing. That is bullshit. Yeah, it makes no sense. But whatever. Uh, but um, yeah, it's. It's honestly just a fucking massive disappointment. It is a mess. Uh uh-uh, uh, not a mess. It is an absolute mess. <laughs> it is. Probably, no, it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it in the trash. Me too. But anyway, guys, it's also <laughs> never seen it right. Yeah, she saw it, didn't she? Oh, I, I saw it. Well, yeah. I saw it well. <laughs> anyway, though, the Powerpuff Girls reboot. Oh, oh Gary, Gary, speak of. Eh, it makes no sense whatsoever. But anyway, continue. Yeah, Gary just added a photo. Yeah, I saw it. What was that? Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Lucas. Hang on. Let me see. No, so Gary just did. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, try- I'm trying to. I just found out, by the way. Um... <laughs> God. <laughs> when you gotta take a rip out of a bong. <laughs> I know what that is. And then afterwards, and then afterwards he goes, yep. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. <laughs> oh, God. Why fucking Gary's dying now? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> if it was a true experience, be like, Am I able to do my next topic? Or? Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all done with my topic, so... Okay. I'm, 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 I'm not, but I want Shane to go ahead. All it's, right. It's his turn. 
<laughs> Still. Folks, I have been compiling notes after notes after notes of things that have happened in my workplace for the past two weeks. Every single day when something oh, happens, I immediately get a, a piece of paper, write down work notes, and, dis- and in shorthand, describe what happened. He writes that shit down faster than the dude from a memento. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty quick on this shit. But, um, yeah. yeah, so with this, I made a work journal because, honestly, writing stuff out is actually kind of therapeutic. But as I was writing this stuff out, mm-hmm. I decided that, you know, I don't, I don't want to keep this information just private. I felt that mm-hmm. it would be fun to, you know, share these experiences that I've had inside the, uh, the store now. Still. So, I think I'm going to call this, if you guys are going to like this segment, I think I'm going to call it Full-Time Ramblings. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. You can see why it's called that. Awesome. Um, you guys ready? I'm ready. Yes, yes. I am. Okay. And, of course, after I do my uh, entries, you guys will go ahead and comment and see what you guys think about what happens. So. All right. April 26th, entry one. Started work today. Regular came in to buy expensive cigarettes, just as normal. However, she was loud, loudly chewing gum. Not a big fan of that. His chewing noises are like fingernails on a chalkboard to me. Didn't have the heart to say, please stop, you're being extremely annoying, since she's actually pretty nice to me. Oh uh, my. Was she good looking? Um, yeah, she's, she's decent. She's got, she's got titties, though, man. She's got titties. Oh, God. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. No, she, she, she's fairly attractive. She, <laughs> she's, you know, just very, uh, you know, she's pretty... Uh, she's pretty nice to me, but you know, it's it's kind of I I just can't stand chewing noises, dude. I just can't fucking stand it. She, she's buying smokes because she, you know, they say that they smoke. She pokes and she's making loud noises with her mouth. Mm. Still. <laughs> but anyways. Where is that fucking picture of Rash? You know, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Um, entry two. Had a small conundrum at work. My legs felt like they were going to give out due to the amount of pain I was feeling, so my body was on a sort of autopilot. Had to make some deposits in the safe since holding too much uh, funds is actually dangerous, but mm. what I wasn't aware was the actual amount for the deposit. I kept on depositing $420 in the safe. The small bit of anxiety in my brain tells me that my boss thinks now thinks of me now as a pot smoker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because... Wait, 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 wait what did you say? Deposit? Say that again? Depositing. Mm-hmm. No, you had to, oh, she, uh, say that line, that whole line. Um, okay. Uh, I had to deposit something. I had to make some deposits in the safe since holding two. Okay, months. make some deposits in the safe. You know what that reminds me of? I had to <laughs> drop a resume. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I can't help it. I'm, I'm so fucking. That's your, so favorite, fucking, that, that's your favorite story of mine. Oh man. my god! Oh, dude. I'm just fucking dumb. I can't help it but laugh. <laughs> oh my! You know why? Because I'm dumb as fuck. <laughs> oh god. What happened was okay. So like on the um on the write-off sheet, it was like this, right? It was like hundred dollars, hundred twenty dollars, uh, three hundred, four twenty, four twenty, four twenty, four twenty, one eighty, yeah. three sixty. <laughs> so now money, 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 money. Yeah. I did like. Four deposits of like four hundred and twenty dollars, and I'm like, because the thing is, yeah. I, I I tend to overthink things about people, so all I could think of was like, oh great, my boss thinks I'm a fucking fucking pot smoker now. <laughs> oh god, let's see. Um. Okay, May first. New month of the day. Yeah. May first, entry one. Starting a new month on the wrong foot with all the work I've been doing. It's been extremely busy with all the long shifts, and it tends to make things difficult. One thing I really got me was the radio today. I think I've heard the song seven years now over nine times in the span of two hours, and it's driving me mad. Oh my. There's a sweet, there's just a sweet change that happens at night. The radio then does electronic music for an hour. Then they do house remixes of the same songs they played the beforehand. I savor the hour as much as I can, as it's such a disappointment when they do the house remixes. All it is really is just seeing how fast they can make Adele sing hello. So far, it's actually pretty fast. Mm-hmm. Still. No, I'm not even joking. That is exactly what they do. It is you know that song, right? Hello. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, it's me. But uh. Oh, oh, oh the the song by um. What's Adele. Adele. Yeah. Adele. Yeah. Yeah. 
is literally just every single time they do a house paint mix, it's because she's like really, uh, really you know, um, soft spoken and sh- uh, slow with it because it's like a slow song. Because it's like, hello, it's me. But now it's like, uh, hello, it's me, and it's like it's all really up fucking upbeat. And I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Because I swear to God, every single time I hear it when they do the house remix, it gets faster and faster and faster every single time. <laughs> oh God! It drives me fucking nuts. Okay, oh. think about this. Okay, it's it's driving him nuts. He's in pain. Four twenty, four twenty, four twenty. Very fast uh, beat. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hold on. I got two more that I can yeah. share. Um. Let's see. <laughs> Entry two: The amigos who come into the store uh, to buy what they want tend to really annoy the hell out of me when it comes to ah! scratch. Oh my! Hey, hey, amigo, uh, como se dice? <laughs> Wait, how do you say? <laughs> <laughs> they will. They will literally. Uh, they will buy literally anything in the store and one scratch off ticket to accompany it. That's not the part that really annoys me, though. What gets me is the fact that after they're done buying something, they then say, one ticket scratch with what they have. <laughs> oh, <And> my. <laughs> if I could make a rule for this, I'd say that even if you had one transaction, that's all you can do. If you can't see the count of the total, even though it's right in front of your face, time to leave. Do they pay in pesos? <laughs> okay. One guy actually did try to pay me in a peso. <laughs> oh, God. Actually, that's funny. I forgot how, I forgot how it works. And it's like, uh... One dollar equals me. ten pesos. Is that how it works? Yeah, it, their their economy as far as uh, their buying power is incredibly weak. Oh, very. That's why they come here. Why do you think people go? Well, you know, because some people go to Mexico to buy some, you know, buy some good shit because it's so cheap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They go with a hundred dollars and they suddenly they are like a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm not even joking. But um. Yeah, because the thing is, what they do is that they buy uh, things. Say they buy like a bunch of beer, and just as something I'm about, they're done. They're like, eh. and they go, "Can I get number two? And it's like, "You had your chance. Don't fucking sit there and tell me you want to scratch off." Oh <laughs> god. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, oh, that's hilarious. Okay, now. May fourth, May fourth, entry one. Started work once more. Had a customer who came in with a shirt that simply stated, "Football is everything." My immediate thought was, "Oh, Jesus!" Oh God. Lucas wearing it? No, no. no. I'll say it again. Oh, I thought you said it was Lucas. I'm sorry. I I heard Lucas. Had a customer who came in with a shirt that simply stated, "Football is everything." My immediate thought was, "How come I've never seen Lucas wear such a shirt?" God help me. You know, why, you know why? It's because he does have that shit where the the fucking areas on that shirt where it covers his nipples, they they were removed. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, it's for easy twisting of angles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is it about nipples and twisting him and shit? God damn. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know. I think you started uh, it. Uh, Our phenomenon's right. Uh, I got. <laughs> uh, I got one more to share. All right. All right. Uh, nearly done with the shift. Regular came in tonight to buy beer and a black and mild, or as I like to call them, cancer sticks. Something <laughs> is certainly off about this fellow, as he's made some pretty weird conversations. As he was leaving, he asked if he could. Uh, he asked if um, the car outside was my tan car outside yep. the store. I promptly told That's him that. That's pretty fucking creepy, Jesus, dude. I promptly told him that he meant orange. He said verbatim, "Yeah, it's got a dead in it." My only retort is I could say to him was, "I know, I was there." <laughs> Wait, tan and orange. Now see. Or, or, or as Gary says it, orange. Yeah, he. Okay, let me let me expl- let me go a little bit more in depth with this one, all right? So yeah. recently, Absolutely. recently I was in an accident and. There was a, um, it was, a, it wasn't that bad. Um, my door got really messed up because someone's trailer hitch, um, hit me on my passenger side door. And it has this huge ass dent in it. The door won't even open. It's, it's pretty much food bar. Um, but the car is still drivable, so which is good. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing is, is that there's the guy that I mentioned beforehand. Um, he's a regular who comes in and he's very, um, he's pretty out there. 
So. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty fucking out there. Um, he, uh, he, I like to call him Captain Obvious, because there's another story involving him. Still. That, uh, I might tell, if you guys are interested. Um, but. Yeah, he came into the store and he's like saying to me, like, is that your car, the tan one? I'm like, no, man, do you mean the, um, uh, the orange one? He's like, yeah, it's got a dent in it. And I'm like, I know, I was there. <laughs> oh <idiot>. my. <laughs> oh, you know, I would have said to him, it's like, it's like, yeah, I know, it's like, yeah, I know about your woman. I put a dent in her. I ain't gonna tell you where, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little. I'm a lonely, desperate human being. I got these two, goddammit. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, I'm just watching Family Guy right now, and my question is, how is a pet rock pee? That is my question. Oh, my God. Oh, Help me. Hey, Mick. Hey, Mick. Hey, Sorry, Mick. Did you take care of your... Oh, Mick. Hey, Mick. Did you take care of your rock? <laughs> 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 I'm like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> I know, I get that. It's just logic breaking. I just don't understand it. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I was watching it after the hockey game was over. Oh, bye. What? But yeah, um... Yeah, I mean, uh... So far, I still got a few more entries to make. But so okay. far, that's, uh... That's what I've got so far. So, uh... That's what Very you guys good. Do. <laughs> you know what, if I talked about a couple of things real quick? Yes. I think it's okay. time for your rest from isn't it? Well... One of them is. Now, Luke Nukem created something with his wrestling game that I thought was fucking brilliant. Yeah. Now, he created uh, a match involving this, these individuals. From the far left to the right, you have LC Muscles wearing his Steelers jersey. You have A Pizzle 90, Alexander the Great, wearing his Dolphins jersey. In the middle, you got Luke Nukem. You got Luke Nukem. And then you got me. You know, Romy boy, you know, wearing the shades and the fucking, um, you know, white tank top, all buff and everything. Mm, yep. And to the right, I, okay, the one at the far right, I thought that was Shane at first. I thought it was too. And it yeah. Was and I thought so too. <laughs> yeah, and he told me it was Gary. I was like, really? I thought Gary was the one to your left. He goes, no, that's Austin. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, my. So, and then you have Austin. Yeah. Hey guys, Austin here, and basically <laughs> you got Austin, you got Gary, and a six-man elimination chamber. Now, if you don't know what an elimination chamber is, this is how it works. It's a big, huge chain-link steel structure in which two men start at the ring, and there's four pods on the corners of each of the corner. Well, I don't want to say corner because it's a round area, but on the sides of the elimination chamber. And I think it's every five minutes, depending on the number you draw, draw. if you're number three, you're going to be the third one to be entered in the ring. If you're number four, four, and five, and six. And an elimination occurs when someone gets uh, submits or gets pins, and the winner, the sole survivor, will become the winner of the elimination chamber. No. And Luke, Luke Nukem said he's going to be making storylines, synopsis, uh, synopsis, synopsis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, on all the characters participating in this match and so on, therefore, this is brilliant. And you know what? He, I think he also said this. Um, he would love it if all the members mm -hmm. will do commentary while watching the match. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, and you're probably thinking, who is going to win? You got the young ass and Mr. Garrison. You got, hey, guys, you want yeah. You got Romy Boy, Jerome, you got you got other side dolls, but you right. And then you got Elsie Muscles, Enchilada, Banana Tits, you know, uh, Coconut Gazongas, motherfucker right here, Lucas. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time for the final meme that I have in my series to be released. No okay, boy. Now, I if I want to do my now, if I want to do my rant video, I want to try to unplug my my headset hopefully that if it fucks up i'll just have to leave the call and come back in so hold on let me see what i can do here okay i'm gonna change let me try to ch change the settings and then unplug it maybe that will help so yeah all right okay now my voice sounds a little different as you can tell 
Yeah, more still. Accurate. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Now there was a guy from the network on you on Facebook named Stuart. Stuart McFerrin. He. Uh, yeah, he. Yeah, he's the one who told me about the. About this late Zach Pierce guy who passed away at the age of 16. And he just said about the. Um, um, there's some guy who's, who told me about this whole network thing. So I just think, um, he's been friends with me since 2011. So there you go with that. A big wrestling fan. He sent me this video, personally. He wanted to know what I thought of it. And I'm just going to tell you this right now. The video has over 6,000 views. There's 124 likes. Almost 400 dislikes. Oh, God. Damn, dude. This is from a wrestling sh a wrestling show called the Don Tony and Kevin Castle show. Never heard of that show, but it's stupid as hell. When they talk wrestling. Kevin Castle. I have a new nickname for him. I'm gonna call instead of Kevin Castle, I'm gonna call him Kevin Asshole. So Kevin Asshole. <laughs> Lucas. What you are about to hear, and you know what, Shane, I want you to chime in as well because you're not going to believe what the fuck this guy is saying. Okay. So, here we go. I got the volume up because hopefully you guys can hear this pretty well. So, here we go. Tell me if you can hear this. Well, you can hear that? Yeah. I can turn it up a little bit. Yeah, turn it up a little bit more because it's kind of faint. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Well, do you think no. that WWE? All right, now here, here's here's an honest question for you. Do you think WWE is a company today? And then just just based on the way, you know, uh, uh, the wrestling has been based on the way that the characters have been developed. I think that's Don Tony, the guy who sounds like a radio talk. That's Kevin Asshole. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that too much attention is there, or not enough? I like to think that I like every minute when they disappoint the fans. I sit back and say, this just worth $55. Wow. Are you fucking serious? What? Oh, it, it gets better. I, I cannot stand when they care to be fans. Why? You wonder why your fucking rage is what God damn it is. It's not down. Well, I, I think the fans put the chance on Daniel Bryan, to be honest with you. Are you fucking kidding me? Mm -mm. No. They wanted Daniel Bryan. You know why? Because he's a natural fucking great talent. He isn't a manufactured, manufactured superstar corporate bitch ass to shove down our throats. That's why. Continue. Oh, I don't think I'm the fans were having Daniel Bryan. Wow. How do you explain WrestleMania? How do you explain WrestleMania 30 when? He was in two of the best matches of the year, and he held both belts, and a crowd fucking erupted. Mm -hmm. Still. Yes, chance. Give me a break. Go ahead. What do you think so far? I, I'm honestly dumbstruck. <laughs> me too. It gets better. Seriously, the fans ruin everything. The fans ruin everything. The internet wrestling fans ruin everything. God help me. Is on the internet. Ruin everything. I never sat back, and you know, like I said, and I agree with this. And he seemed like a younger guy, this kid was cutting that YouTube clip, who I thought was really good, not just because he said things that I, I don't know who he's talking about, agreed with. Oh, yeah. But he made some great points, and, and, um, and, and uh, you know, just the same what a lot of people want to say. It's just for making it, chance of making it miserable. Stop with the fucking Monday morning quarterback. Stop with the backseat driver bullshit. Motherfucker, it's an entertainment-based organization. Oh, you got out there. No, you didn't. Oh, oh I did? Yeah, okay, you're back now. Yeah, you're back. Okay, it's a fucking... Did you hear what he said? Yeah, cut with the money, the quarterback bullshit. It's an entertainment-based product. Still. You can't have a fucking perspective on wrestling? Are you kidding me? Still. This is Who the fuck does this corporate WWE shit bitch thinks he is? Still. I never, like I said, when I went in 1984 and I talked about being Blackjack Mulligan and I'm watching.
watching Rocky Johnson uh, fighting Baron Miguel Cepeda, look sitting there going, you know, I, I, you know, when Baron Miguel Cepeda should be getting a bigger push, you know, and, and like you sit there and psychoanalyze everything. Went to the bar and just enjoyed it for what it was. Enjoy for what it was. Oh, so uh, so that's an entertainment-based product, and I cannot enjoy it. <laughs> Think about this, folks. Hmm? <laughs> did I cut out again? Yes. No, yeah, you did a little bit. God damn it. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't get this guy. I yeah, oh, don't either. Like, just enjoy for what it is. Really? Then the matches and enjoy for what it was. I didn't sit there and focus how much I hate Batista. How much I, it's just so stupid. I, it was. I, made no you sense. Do you have a fucking perspective on it? Uh-uh. That's pretty bullshit. It, it is, is bullshit. bullshit. You know, Guys, I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to leave the call and come back and hopefully this fixes everything. So I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> All right, so Shane, what do you else do you have to talk? What else are you calling? Because all my topics I finished up on. Yeah. Um. Besides the um, the conversation topic, I don't really got anything else. So, if you have any questions from the comp from the fans, you have any like? Yeah. Any anybody? Comments? Anybody out in the uh, live chat now? Does anybody have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, anything that they want to go ahead and uh, say here and now? Oh, I'm back. Uh, do you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, back to this douchebag. Okay, back to this sh shit. <laughs> okay, this is getting, this is getting cut out, yeah. Yeah, it's cutting out really. Yeah, it's cutting out. I still can't hear. I can't hear hear Jerome. Yeah. Hello? You may have to fix this. I can bear, I can't. I can't. I can't understand you, man. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on either. So, any comments, any questions, or concerns from the fans? Let me check. Let me check you. You have the link up, right, Shane, or? Yeah, yeah. Um, Nick just asked, "Hey Shane, what's up?" Nothing. <laughs> just, just here, just here at the moment. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna ask you guys, what do you think of the meme, the meme war between me and Gary? I posted all my memes that I have though, so right now I don't have any more for the night. But all yeah, right, you probably you probably can hear me a whole lot better now, huh? Yeah. God damn it. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll try to see if you guys can. I'll try to speak in verbatim really quick. Stuart sent me the video. Okay. 
Yeah, Kevin Asshole. <laughs> yeah, it's an entertainment-based product, motherfucker. It's an entertainment-based product. If you're not, so you tell me I can't have a perspective on this? Who the fuck are you, John Cena, Roman Reigns? Uh, uh, what was the other one? Fucking Lance Storm and all those other assholes. Or Chris Jericho, who are telling fans to shut the fuck up. Kiss my ass. We are the ones that are fucking paying your bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Me, I'm not. Because I'm from, uh, for a freaking I don't know. No, no, no. I ordered the, uh, the network. Why? So I can do the free trial. And then right after that, so I can see WrestleMania, I cancel it right afterward. I'm not giving WWE a goddamn cent. Yeah, because screw them. Especially cancel you. Screw yeah, especially with WWE, how they canned a bunch of talent not too long ago. One of them was going to be Damian, Damian fucking Sandow, who was awesome. Mm. But you never, no, you, he, he was great until you found him the fuck in it. He buried him, he never got back on track, and you just released him, yet you're shoving Roman Reigns down our fucking throats. Oh, yeah, Kevin Asla has a heart on for Roman Reigns. You know, and he's like, yeah, they're booing him out of the building. This is pathetic. I'm just like, the fucking fans don't want him. Still. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So all this whole situation, you know, in the Roman Reigns for this situation, you know, where's right now? I have to say, suffer and suck attach. Oh my! Or tater tots. Yeah, I could say. Or, or fucking, or fucking, or fucking tater tots, or the Superman bullshit, or he choked on a cock when trying to announce he was going to be in the Royal Rumble and he fucking botched. Give me a break, dude. Still. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Hey, Kevin Asshole. We. Spoke our, we spoke our minds, and unlike this, who claims, who claims he listens to the fans, yet he muted our fucking mics at WrestleMania, and he dubbed in his own cheers when Roman Reigns won, even though Tiny Tim and many others were there, he had the loudest boos in AT&T history. Still. The boos were so powerful, it was vibrating the windows. Shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah, and Vince McMahon fucking muted our mics. Yeah, yeah, he listens to our fans, all right. It's not about what we want. It's about what Vince wants. Right on, right. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. Right. Look at him. Look at that attack. Oh, look, he does that. Superman donkey punch. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I seriously think Vince is bisexual, though. I really do. Well, remember, there was a rumor that Vince and Shawn Michaels had a relationship. Oh my. oh my. So here, here's the, there's the link to that article. I'm sorry I couldn't play the rest of it because I guess it was affecting the call. Yeah, I guess works. I guess Kevin Asshole doesn't I guess Kevin Asshole doesn't want us to hear it. Yeah, but uh, the Network Awards. I'm sorry I'm getting off track here. The Network yeah. Awards had a, a, plethora, a plethora of nominations. Mr. Garrison. Uh, Informed me that he did not want me to spoil anything on him because he wants people to check it out for themselves for all you know when they vote and when the award show shows up. So, so let me see. I gotta look up and see what the date is. Um, I don't want to actually. You know what? I think that's pretty much all the topics I had in wait. Drawing. There's one. There's one you have to talk about. Makes what? no sense whatsoever. Go ahead. An individual. Oh wait! Oh my God! I forgot about Paul Fig. No. Uh uh. Not Paul Fig, the other guy. You know. Hold on, I'm gonna let you know in, in the chat. Yeah. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> mm -hmm. I he's respecting my opinion. I respect your opinion. Come on, seriously. <laughs> yes. You... Folks, give me a sec. I am going to share. I'm going to, I'm going to do the share screen shit again. So give me a second. Right. Oh boy. And then we'll I just got a brief though because Shane's got a big population. Oh, I oh, yeah. conversation topic. So okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, chat screen share. Okay. Uh, the entire screen. Um, Wait, why am I on camera? Yeah, it shows okay, you. Okay, let me turn that off for bandwidth purposes. Here we go. There we go. Can you see everything perfectly? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. I got some more news about Mr. Ian Smith. Which is amazing. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. 
Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Many people in a particular group on Google think that what we did, they thought we were trolling. I'm just like, motherfucker, I have facts, statements, uh, visual proof, and everything else. And you remember one of the things that got him caught for being a plagiarist? What, the, the FCC? Uh, the, well, no. The, okay, something that, uh, that Pepsi Man and Ethan originally did. And we were, me and Gary were supposed to be in part three. Well, guess what? Hmm. Okay. Hopefully. Okay, here we go. Can you see this? Hang on. Yep. Can you see this right here? Video test game three play featuring. Now, look, if you type in, look at, type in R Mega 4, what comes up? Nvidia Test 3 gameplay featuring Ethan Nunn. Oh my. Yeah. So for any of you out there thought we were making this shit up, yeah, you don't see this anymore because he had to take it down. But here's more evidence that he did this. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fucking unbelievable. Makes mm -hmm. no sense whatsoever. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. You ready for this one? There we go. Okay. Now, our manga four. You remember the the FCC, the mm -hmm. FCC that with the WRMG with Jack, Jack Ivy Senior. Well, he almost got in trouble and fine. Well, I'm gonna read this out loud. May third, 2016. He posted this. Our manga four. We are still legally WRMG Channel Four, but we are going on air as our manga four. Enterprises Channel 4 to avoid legal issues. God. He's, not doing, he's keeping it offline because if he wants to bring it online, he'll know that he's going to get his ass chewed out. Mm hmm. Yep. And it gets better. <laughs> okay, you ready for the grand finale? I'm, let me see what else do I got down here. Uh, oh, you see this right here? Yeah. WRMG Power Play. That Never was his it. app. And there's the call letters. Wow, dude. Seriously. And you ready? Now, you ready for... Well, I don't know if I show this now, but... Okay, here we go. Here's the grand... Oh, that's not it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, write that one down, too. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one. Oh, don't tell me it's one of those. Yeah, okay. If it's H HP Media Smart Photo, this is going to be a fucking bitch because this thing is a dirty whore. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Come on, okay. Yeah, obviously, it's showing my screen. And yeah, HP Media Smart, it fucking takes forever to load. I'm like, Windows, uh, Windows Photo, uh, that type of software, it's like, Right away. With this shit, it's just, it takes forever. Come on now. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Come on, you dirty... Okay, here we go. Can you see this on my screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. He posted... Now, I... now, this wasn't two days ago. This is when he posted this on Skype. It's gone now. But he said this. It's true, everybody. I'm a plagiarist. Yep. I knew it. How are you going to deny that, you fucking R Mega 4 E and dick running pussy ass bitches? Oh, God. <sighs> I rest my case again. Sorry, stupid computer. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So there you have it. Yeah, R Mega 4. Or more like R Mega Bend Over and get four dildos up the ass because you suck. Plagiarist. Oh, my. So? And dude, there you have it. Ah, that's... God, man. Fucking kid. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I love it in the chat. He's like, oh, I'm 28. No, he's like 17, 18. Yeah. Yeah, he's 28. I don't give a fuck about it, but continue. Bullshit me, buddy. Don't try to fucking bullshit me. 
Mm-mm. No. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing at Gary. I just see this post. This explains itself, and it shows Lucas with his face on his, on his, and with his palms on his face with his open mouth. You know, you know, his jaw open like like Home Alone. And it says, Home Alone Triple X. Your butthole's been fucked. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, <laughs> All right. So I think it's time for the one and only, as I see it, the conversation topic segment where nothing fucking matters because we have pointless yeah. conversations. Still. <laughs> but anyways, so. Tell me, muscles the wrestler. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, love that one. <laughs> oh. But anyways, so. With all the latest and greatest as far as uh, superhero movies and such has come out, we've had Batman vs. Superman, Civil War, all these, uh, Deadpool, all the superhero movies coming out. I couldn't help but think at some of the um, conversation topics we could have based around this. So Still. I came up with that. And this is an age-old question that, you know, friends usually like to, uh, you know, ask each other. But I decided to go ahead and add uh, two more extra questions into this one. That's so, good. without further ado, uh, my question, or questions, for you gents tonight is, if you could have one superpower, what would it be, uh, why, and what would be the first thing you use it for? My superpower, I'd be the Incredible Hulk. So, okay, you'd be the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yep, easily. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Why? Why? E- oh, easily. First of all, he can leap. He can leap like a mile high in the sky. He can jump so far to like up to three miles. That's how powerful he is. The dude is like, other than Superman, he's probably the most power. He's like Superman where he's got unlimited power. Yeah. Yeah. He could be as strong as he needs to be. That's true. And that's why. <laughs> oh, my. Fair enough. Um. Okay, so what would be okay? So if you were to be the Incredible Hulk, then then like, what would be the first thing you do with your power? Go to Happy Madison's Productions and smash the fuck out of the smithereen. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, 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 makes no sense, but whatever. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> but no, that's I would Hulk smash that motherfucker to dust. <laughs> no, 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 don't. Don't. Okay? Continue. <laughs> God. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the first place I would go is find that area and just pound that shit and throw it in until it's freaking ash. <laughs> uh-uh, no. Don't even think about it. Oh, my God, yeah. There's, there's, there's nothing left as soon as the dust, dust settles. <laughs> yeah. And if, there, um, and if there's any happy mass and far tarts in them, well... Oh, well. <laughs> well, makes no sense, but whatever. Hold on, hold we on, have salsa. Image. Yeah, claw down. We have salsa. <laughs> <laughs> no. Christ almighty. You literally would turn the hand over me. No, no, Rami, don't hurt me. I'm a sailor and people love me. Don't hurt me, Mr. Drone. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Christ. 
No, no, I mean, of course it would be Kate Upton. You should know this drum. This is Lucas 101 here. <laughs> I, would, I would clone her as Craig Upton with Baker Zonkos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have the power to copy anything. Yes, and my or first thing I would do... What? Jerome, you were only... Were her, her boobs be gluten-free? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, I can't wait to I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know what you're... Uh, anyway, my one, first thing I would do is be able to... I have a $100 bill, i copy that as many times as I want. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. Okay, it's, uh, that'd be the first thing you would do with your power. It's always about, <laughs> it's always about the grievous misuse first. <laughs> Still. Yes, it is. Well, uh, and then, hey, guys, I'm not gonna... Here, I'm just gonna send this in the... Send this there. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Yeah, I've seen it. I know what it is. Oh, God. Oh, no. you, you, Gary, you and your... Anyway. You, know what, you know what he should have called it? Magic Mike XXXL. <laughs> God. Christ. <laughs> anyway. So, okay, so... Next ability I would have, I would have the ability to control, not only control, but turn into water. Oh, okay. boy. That's interesting. So, uh, but why though? Why water? Because water is pretty much, you can't really, like, get hurt by water. If, like, you're in a fight against someone, you really can't get hurt by water. Agreed. Like, you're in water form, you can't get hurt by water. You can drown like, somebody. Yeah, they could drown yeah. somebody, but you can't, on, like, if someone's trying to shoot a gun at you, you can just turn the water and blow the bullet, or it'll just go slow into the water. Exactly. Well, yeah, I mean, there is that. That's you know, able to, be able to use water, I'd be able to like create like clap, like be able to like use the water to like um, <laughs> to create waves. <laughs> oh my! No, 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 I came up with something for your power. Like, okay, it, okay, if it was me, if I had the power to uh, form my body into water and have control over water, my I would be so using that power for grievous misuse at first. I really yeah. would. This is what now. If I was Lucas, right? If I was Lucas and I went to the gym, and there's you got the the, the guys going in, you know, they're uh, lifting weights and stuff. They're about to take a drink mm -hmm. of water. I would make it so that as soon as they take the sip, just <laughs> fucking shoot. Them <laughs> oh my! Hey, drink, motherfucker. Oh, what I what I would oh, what I would do is like as soon as they try to drink it, I turn it off. They try to drink it again, I turn it off, and they're getting pissed, and they drink it. They go down even further. Boom! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be awesome. That actually would sound like a great idea. I'd be so mean. I would use my water. I would use my water powers to create the biggest bucket who come shut. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I would close it all over Kate Upton like a crispy crepe donut, gluten free of course. <laughs> oh God. Well, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for hijacking your, uh, thing there. Lucas, what would be the, okay, if you had the power over water, um, what would be the first thing you'd use, about, use it for? Like, I'd be able to, um, show the ability that I could walk on water and be able to amaze people. Okay, that, that's interesting, because, I mean, that's kind of like, oh, yeah, if you could be like, hey, look at this, I don't know, walking on water and shit, everybody would be freaking the fuck out, dude. Mm -hmm. If he had the yeah. water powers... Dude, if you had the water bottles, hit blast a little so big it looked like the tar away from Deep Impact. <laughs> Still. <laughs> uh, so you had another? I did have another. One of my one of my powers would be to travel anywhere instantaneously. So instantaneous teleportation. One power. One motherfucking power. I know. I just want. I, 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 I want to hear this. At the end, I'm going to ask him, of course, which one he has to choose. So. That's Still, what, that was the whole point. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> so yeah. you're, like, you're like the, so you're the Flash, Aquaman, and the uh, what's the name of the of the Hulk uh, villain who can replicate anything? Oh shit. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. No, 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 no. You're the T1000. You're the Flash, and you're Aquaman. Put the. <laughs> oh <laughs> God. Terrifying, honestly. <laughs> Uh, but at any rate, uh, so, okay, so if, um, okay, so the power to, um, 
I'm sorry, what was it again? <laughs> instantaneous <laughs> travel. Okay, 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 instantaneous teleportation. Uh, why? Because so it would be... I could be, not only that, I would be able to finish races quickly, like I could go for right. marathons. Just run. Well, that's, that's true. Oh. It'll be like that episode of Spongebob. You want to see me run back yeah. to, uh, from here to this hill again? Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, no. <laughs> I was in... <laughs> yeah, instantaneous teleportation to Kate up this I'd be able to go anywhere I want. <laughs> yeah. Bro, well, well, I can really see go the previous misuse all over this shit. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Okay, so what would be the first thing you do with it? <laughs> go inside a bank and take all the money out of the bank. <laughs> oh my god. Power tank. And then be able to leave and be able to leave without a trace. Power uh, tank. Uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Take Kate up into a loft shack and fuck her on the money. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> and she would never figure out who fucking did it. Because he'd be gone. Oh, the God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah nine months later. <laughs> nine months later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that'd be a to have a kids with superpowers would be fucking terrible. Yeah, <laughs> still. Elsie <LC> Upton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, you know what? We know why Lucas will come back for that, and I'll tell you why. Because usually when women are pregnant, you know, Kate Upton's already back when she gets pregnant. Oh boy, Lucas, be thirsty, motherfucker! Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I'd be thirsty. I'd be thirsty. Watch it. It's like what, uh, what, what was his name? Uh, Critical? It's like, he's like, your boobs are so big and jiggly. It's like watching Jello on a subwoofer. <laughs> Oh, I'm too late now. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, fucking Lucas. Losing it. <laughs> oh, my. Broken you know, Lucas. You gotta, be you, that, you gotta be careful when you shoot that tide away shot, man. You might you might give birth to uh, triplets, man. <laughs> God help me. Oh, <laughs> oh. That, that's one thing about having superpowers is you gotta learn how to master that shit. Because if not, it can create you know, you know, some embarrassing you know, moments. You know, I, they'll, they'll all will be boys and he'll be like, great, three football players in the future. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're all gonna be football players. Every single one of you. Still. <laughs> Yeah, here's, here's a gluten free power bottle. Eat that before you put out helmet. Still. <laughs> oh man, I get it. Is one of the guys gonna have hair like uh, palmetary? Oh my! What is this kid doing a head in What if this kid is gonna look like fucking John fucking Cena? I swear to God. Oh god. Oh god, fuck boy blockhead. Well, it's like one of the kids would be like, uh, uh, pump, I forgot, was, he was a safety for the Steelers. He'd be doing fucking, um, head and shoulders commercials. <laughs> oh my, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I don't know. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> God help me. Oh my God, he's fucking dying. <laughs> yeah, it was the wrong move. <laughs> oh god. I don't know what the C stands for. I don't like saying that word, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, LC Marshall stands for long cock. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what kind of fucking show are we running here? Oh, damn. oh god. <laughs> man, I give you that. I. Man, I give you guys an inch and you take a fucking mile. <laughs> Yeah, still. Marshmallow. Dude, it would look like if the Snape Plus Marshmallow Man had diarrhea. <laughs> oh my! Oh man. Uh, okay, Lucas, is that the only. Other... You should never cross the. You should never cross the stream. <laughs> is that all these superpowers that you want? That's it, yes. That's it. Okay, um. Okay, let me interject before you have to, uh, have to uh, make a decision on which one you want. Um, I. I honestly thought you were going to say that you wanted super strength at one point. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, super I, strength I, is not bad. Oh my god! 
Draw it picks super strange, so that kind of ruined it for me there. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Uh, so I guess I was half right then. Because I, yeah. I had to yeah. you say you had some multiple ideas. I figured you did. I did. Yeah. I took me by surprise on all of them. My first super, my first super car, I watched Soldiers like to roll. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so, okay, so, like, here's, here's what I thought. Because you were going to say uh, that you wanted, uh, you know, super strength, oh. and I was going to make the argument that it would probably uh, kind of ruin the point of going to the gym. Yeah, that would. But, but if you did happen to choose... That superpower. I already came up with a uh, superhero name for you. Oh God. You would be known as the Gaines. Oh, <laughs> God help me. B A I N Z. <laughs> exactly. Capital Z. And I and I even gone one step further. I just came up with a super villain name. Oh, uh, super uh, arch nemesis for you as well. What? Captain Obesity. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh God! Like, well, I came up with freaking okay. So this is what I imagine Captain Obesity. Hey, hey, it would be it be it be it would be Jerry with his fat ass. Oh, <laughs> so me. Oh boy. Like, this is what I imagine. It's this big fat sweaty guy with a towel for a cape. Little got this little tiny mask, and he's always perpetually riding on a a, um, a scooter. A little what do they call it? Little rascal. They're not a little rascal. <laughs> Uh, Nick Canito mm. told me to tell you this, Lucas. He says, uh, you know, Kata, uh, uh, no, wait, no, wait. Elsie Upton gluten free twisting nipples enchiladas. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't love uh, him. I'm tight. I want to twist her nipples with my teeth. <laughs> I want to eat those like a gluten free power bar. <laughs> oh, Kinker. <laughs> Still have nine more minutes to finish games, it off. You had super strength. Okay, so out of those three powers that you chose, which one would you pick? Which one would you pick? I was <laughs> Can I speak, please? <laughs> yeah, no, I would just fuck on my <laughs> I, want, yeah. I really want the instantaneous travel. That would be seriously the one I would pick. Oh, out. you? that would be the one you... T- teleportation. This is I'm, a little, I'm a little surprised, actually. I thought you would actually go for um uh, the water power, honestly. So you're gonna you be like nine. Like, I would have chose. I would have chose the water power. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my! Animation's pretty freaking cool though. There's a lot. You, there's a creative ways you can go about that, man. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But, um, man, I'll give you the man. I'll go inside people's bottles. I'm gonna give you the liquidy massage in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> Getting tired. Oh man. Now, <laughs> you ever seen that movie, The Abyss? <laughs> Oh, man. If I, okay, so... Oh, Gary, I, Gary just said uh, to me, dude, this is my favorite episode ever. Oh, my. <laughs> That's awesome. If I had, okay, so if I had to choose one myself, I'd probably go shape-shifting. Oh, that's Honestly. Uh, oh, the shape? Oh! Now, think about it. it <laughs> this is how it would be like for me. It'd be the best of both worlds. I could do what both uh, Mystique <laughs> and uh, Beast Boy can do. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Beast Boys for Teen Titans. Okay, love that, especially for Teen Titans. Uh, uh, no, not Teen Titans. Go, kids. It sucks. Um, Titans. But wow, well, continue. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was the other character? Um, uh, Beast Boy. You know, from um Teen Titans. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. You, I didn't. He, I, I, I didn't hear you correctly. I'm like, okay, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Good shit. Yeah, dude, like, that's what I would do. Um, reason being is because you could become anything you put your mind to, essentially. You could become literally anything. Mm-hmm. And I think that'd be just incredible. That'd be really cool. Because, you know, it'd be literally anything. Oh, are you kidding me? I, yeah, I would turn into a sexy, fine-ass Lana from WWE and be in a room by myself for 24 hours. Titty twisting, hockey loving, penguin, cum craving motherfucker. 
<laughs> oh god. Uh, fucking um yeah, as for my uh as for the first thing I do with my power, I think I think I'd probably scare the shit out of somebody. Oh god. Uh, Cuz I mean, uh if I could do bo what both Mystique and Beast Boy can do, I can interchange my limbs to be, you know, different uh, shapes and forms be like fucking scare the shit out of somebody mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's somebody who just saw somebody turn into a fucking wolf in the backyard and everybody's like fucking freaking out like what the hell oh, God. oh my you know, if I was able to manipulate my body I would find that the most hottest most sexiest age, uh, the, a, a, a alien from a Puerto Rico with the three boobs I'd be like hey baby I got my third hand <laughs> <laughs> oh my if that shape shifting power technically you can do that <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, fuck. it's like it's like. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to brush against your leg. Like, huh? That ain't my leg, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What the fuck? I think I think we learned something here today. All of yeah. us previously misuse our powers on the first day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know I would, but I would do it to please that beautiful boy. <laughs> you oh god! In bed would be fucking terrifying. <laughs> oh god. Dude, I saw this four-second GIF. I thought it was the funniest fucking thing ever. It yeah. involves Black, uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson, and the Hulk. Oh no! And, uh, I know what you're talking about the GIF, I think. Yeah, like like the Hulk turns around, and looks at uh, uh, Black Widow, and Scarlett just looks, and then the Hulk just grins, and then Scarlett Johansson has like this, oh shit, like like reaction, and then the next the next clip is showing like this big green cock fucking this. Bitch. Oh my! Yeah, that's that's. The thing. <laughs> You know, I don't know what you're talking about. God help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yep, the gift. Wow. Oh god damn. God. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. You know how they say that with uh with uh spiders, it's like after the Black Widow uh, mates with the guy, the guy usually dies <laughs> with that gift. It was the other way around. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Fucking. Oh my god. I mean, there would be nothing left over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, 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 oh. Green giant. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. She was. She was. She was climbing up that fucking beanstalk. <laughs> oh god. Oh <laughs> uh, god. Fucking hell. Oh. Uh, so yeah. I. Yep. I think we certainly learned something about ourselves. We mm -hmm. previously misused superpowers if we ever get. So yeah. it, the moral of the story, folks, is don't let us have superpowers. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, there was a clever, a clever fucking joke in Chronicle where I think Anthony Mackie was in this one too. I think it was him where he uses his powers to push a car and move and like like move it way, uh, like uh, like push it like way beyond like where it originally was. And he's like, I think he says something. He's like, he's like, yep, you can't blame you can't blame the black guy stole it first. Still. <laughs> oh my. I think that's what he said in the movie Chronicle. It was funny because it was yeah. like a, it was like a refer it was like a s satirical joke that was unclever. So <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. That's, what I'm about. that's amazing. Oh, uh, well, I guess that does it for another segment of As I See It. Uh, I think fucked. we're fucked up individuals, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. I think, I know I think we need to end this episode, though. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. it, folks. <laughs> Because this is just epic. This ending was amazing. That's all, folks. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Pain and Game podcast. And man, I'm just you're, you're drained. I'm so excited, man. I mean, it was so. I'm just so tired now after that. All that. I don't even know if we can continue. Okay. So yeah, folks. Thank you all for watching the Pain and Game podcast. This is such a great episode. I don't know how we're going to top this one, but we're going to do our best to make episode 43 awesome as well. So stay yeah. tuned next week for the Pain Game Podcast episode number 43. Say goodbyes, everybody. Uh, 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 fuck, I can't speak. Thank you, everyone, for watching and tuning in. We've been dying to uh, get back into the fray here. It's been quite a while, so I won't hold this up. Uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. I hope you had a great time. Um, I got, hopefully, some more conversation topics as time goes on. And, of course, we got more gaming news of stuff coming in next week. Hopefully, if things go right. Anyways, 
I hope you all have a, had a great time as much as we did, and we will see you next week. I'm just waiting for Jerome to do his usual fucking scaring everybody. He's just like preparing himself. Oh, you just prepare your bungalow. He's like smacking it out, though. Just... <laughs> God, this, this oh, is... I'm just going to you, man. And it's... Nope. I don't know how we're going to okay. top this episode. Just oh, for okay, that well, Yeah. You better fight the pillow. <laughs> just for that segment alone where I, I had to fall, I literally fell down. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh my. It's hilarious. Anyway. Oh, like I said, you better prepare yourself. I'm fine. I don't care. Whoa. Yeah. Thank you. Kill. <laughs> Time to watch some baseball. Baseball. Oh, shit. Oh, the pitch is Episode number 42. And Lucas had a fucking heart attack. So... <laughs> Join us next time for episode 43. You guess. You watch it. Just pay his attention. Hey, I'm holding a gluten-free power bar. (laughs) 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 So, join us for episode 43. Until the next episode, stay tuned. And once again, motherfuck Kevin asshole. Yep. And Ian Smith. Which makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. What? Still. Yeah, guys. <laughs> We're done. This is yeah, that's fun. that's it. Everyone's that uh, fucking nut. Oh man. So that was a Pain Game Podcast episode forty-two. What do I think about this episode? It was amazing. Anyways, that was episode for Ultra Reality episode um three hundred twelve. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one. Which is going to be out to Riyadh's episode 313, the Pancake Podcast, episode 43. But until next time, this is Jeff saying goodbye, peace out, baby. We can watch Riyadh's weekend very soon. But to bed, Jeff was saying out. See ya. time I failed to really understand it. I never sought to meet the maker of reality. The one who gave the life that which is always happening. But I tried all the time.